thanks, Jake. Uh, as Jake's mentioned, Peter Atkinson in the com commentary box with us here today. This should be a cracking game, Peter. Both sides love to play in a bright, uh, an exciting brand of footy. Uh, how do you see this one panning out? Well, I, I don't think it matters where they're on the table. They always have great clashes. Uh, the time that I spent with Tiwi Bombers, we always had a real battle with Wanderers. And uh, I just think the, way, the style of both sides will just make this a uh, football feast today. So Wilson and Daniels in the ruck. Uh, Tiwi come away with the football here. Tunga Talam, smart tap on. Great attack on the footy by Thompson there. Adam Tippin Woody, great pick up. Really moving the ball quickly early on in this in early stages of this game. As we see Mungatopi now drives the ball inside 50 for the Tiwi Bombers. And great is that Dion Mankara who's taken the mark inside 50. Great opening passage of play, Jake, to start this game. Hodgy, that is a, just a fantastic start for the Bombers. They would have wanted to uh, get out of the gates quickly, and they've done exactly that straight through the middle too. Um, I'm sure Wanderers wouldn't be overly uh, happy about that, just giving up such an easy run straight through the guts early on. As uh, Yeah, the Bombers looking to get first points on the board. Dion Mankara, generally a fantastic kicker goal. Yep, he's pretty happy about that. Bangs it through in the first minute of the game and the Bombers go up 6-zip. That's exactly the start that they would have wanted, Hodgie. Well, they've gone bang, haven't they, Jake? Great start to this game. Uh, great transition out, Pete. How did you see this first passage? Oh, it was played exactly the way Tiwi wanted it to be. There was enough space and they threw it around. The confidence they got out of last week's win, is, uh, I would have thought, was enormous. And their willingness to throw the ball around and move in the forward line is going to be a real headache for the Eagles. An exciting little back-to-front kick there from Paddy Heenan too to get that ball moving forward. Uh, Jake, very, very exciting. There's a couple of really nice plays as we can see on our uh, replay. There was a very smart tap from uh, Ross Tungatalam as well just to, to keep that play going. I think that's what we'll see uh, a lot today from the Bombers is you know that continuation play as much as possible. So as we see Bo Cabello trying to drive the ball out here. Fantastic clearance by Gary Puddentanamiri. A bit wide. Looks like we got Jack Mankara out on the far side. He's got plenty of support there with Adam Tip and Woody. Bangs it inside 50 now. Great punch from Bremer Combe. We've got Simon Bates at the ground level. Clears the ball. Bit of a rush kick. Lean then just bangs it forward. Erlinson, long kick down the line. Plenty of numbers here, Tiwi. Uh, Jason Puddentanamiri chopped off here at half back. Yeah, just uh, they've certainly had all the run so far, uh, Tiwi, as they headed out to the uh, far side of the field. Um, they're very looking really composed and that they've got their time. Their ball use has been sensational as we see, um, again, a little bit more time and an inside 50 here to a contest, but well cleaned up there by Wanderers. It's certainly uh, promising signs early. Yeah, smart. Great mark across halfback. He goes wide to Sam Arthur on centre wing. Short inside. Simon, Simon Bates. 100th game for Simon Bates today. And... Just controlling the ball here as he goes in short to Ma. Again short to Fijo. Now looking to switch the ball here. Now he goes in long inside 50. Big Chapel, new player for the for the Wanderers. Can't bring the ball to ground. 15, Dixon for Tiwi. Clears the ball. Gary Puddentatamiri. Sorry, Jason Puddentatamiri. Great clearance outside 50. And Tiwi away on this outer side. Uh, they look very composed so far this game and using the ball really well. Just a little dump back kick here. I've got to say, Hodgy, the uh, disposal efficiency from both clubs has been sensational early on. It's something, I guess, we've... Oh, good big, big hit there. Um, it's something we've kind of... Uh, uh, accused uh, pretty much every side that we've seen this week of, uh, this uh, season of, is uh, poor ball use. But look at that again. Yeah. Bombers straight inside 50. We saw Wanderers do it at the other end. It's some um, sensational efficiency from both yeah. clubs. Alvin Tip and Woody, great target for Tiwi up forward. We've seen Jack Mankara on a number of occasions deliver that ball inside 50. Very efficient. And inside Tip and Woody to, to Tunga Talam there with his uh, Ross Tunga Talam. Yeah. Um, again, you know, we, we spoke before about the the good ball use and um, Ross Tunga Talam doesn't miss too many inside 50. Um, so it's a great person to uh, have a kick in to, to get the second score on the board for the Bombers, Akko. Uh, yes, uh, Albert Tip and Woody, of course, the older brother of, uh, of the, uh, the gun young bloke. Adam. Uh, Adam. Uh, yeah, no, they've, they're just moving the ball around well. I think that's uh, much the stamp of the Tiwi side, the skill, the uh, concern is on the turnover. And I thought that when Wanderers did turn it over, 
uh, before it went back into the forward line for Tiwi. It was uh, excellent work. The, the structure of the Tiwi defence was very, very good. Now we can see on the replay here just how efficient that ball use uh, was there um, as they, they streak down the field. But it's just that, that inside 50 play, uh, getting to the contest and then making the clean use of possession when they get it. Uh, sensational stuff there from the Bombers and they couldn't be happier with the start they've had and I'm sure Brenton Toy is uh, up in that coaching box uh, very happy with how it's progressing so far. So Wilson and Daniels back to the centre of the ground. Adam Tippemorty a little tap forward but Gabillo comes off, so does Matthew Motlop come off the line. Wilson holding the man there possibly and is paid to the Tiwi Bombers. So Tiwi Bombers again through Dion Mankara. No, sorry, it's not Dion Mankara. It's going to Dixon. Another opportunity to go inside 50. He goes very dangerously yeah, not a great sideways to there, Topi. They'll have another crack at it here, and there's plenty of space out on this left flank. Nicely done, tapped to advantage there by uh, Babui Silvani, or Silvani Babui. Uh, <laughs> one of my favourite names in the competition, actually. And again, you can see that the Bombers have just <laughs> got inside 50. Sensational ball use, and they've put another one through. That's three and zip. And all of a sudden, Tewi Bombers 18 to nil. Just gone bang, haven't they, Jay? This is a fantastic passage to play again, Pete. Yeah, it's a big problem for Wanderers because, uh, as I said, the confidence is up, but they're getting numbers around the contest. So when they made a, uh, a mistake back in the middle there, there were two other Tiwi players just ready to uh, support. And once they got the ball uh, running forward, uh, gee, they're impressive. Yeah, well, look, Paddy Heenan there said, so we, we've spoken a lot about lowering the eyes and hitting those targets inside 50 this season. Uh, Tiwi Bombers could not be doing it better at the moment, just so efficient when they go inside that forward line. And the other thing is they're making the most of their opportunities, something that teams haven't done this season as well. But, you know, to go 3-0, that's, uh, that's a beautiful start. And we can see they're streaking away again here. And Wanderers will have to um, be getting a little bit worried here, lucky not to give a free away there. Maybe they, yep, they do. They'll play on. But, uh, geez, it's been great so far from the Bombers. And another great mark there by Aussie Wanamiri, the experienced campaigner. Great work. And this is just all Tiwi Bombers at the moment. They've hit, kicked a couple from. This is about the exact same spot where Ross uh, Tunga Talon kicked his from. If they can go four goal zip, this is um, it's getting worrying signs for Wanderers already. Hey, you've got to take into effect, account the fact that they're actually kicking against the breeze too. Wanamiri comes in, puts it on the right boot. That one's uh, just gone out to the left. The first uh, miss for the Bombers today, but it's 3 one 19 to 0, 0, 0 to the Bombers. Uh, and as the Wanderers try to get out of trouble here. So Jonas Nicky brings the ball into Braden McLean. Great kick from Braden McLean outside 50. Simon Bates. Uh, not much going on for, for Wanderers down the line, so they've got to go short. Mansell now on centre wing. Uh, again, Tiwi all flooding back and filling up the gap. So Mansell goes long down the line. He's got Smart, who has opened up play here. Opening up a little bit for Wanderers here as they go inside 50. Ch Chapel had to compete in that contest. Again, fair head now and just sees it over the line. So great pressure from the Tiwi Bombers. Plenty of numbers getting back behind the play. Peter Atkinson. Yeah, that'd be pretty encouraging to Brenton Toy because they've actually won a free kick here. So uh, back in possession, they're prepared to uh, throw it around back their uh, skill level. So if they can maintain this, uh, we're in for a long day. So yeah, exactly right. They're, uh, at Co they're just looking so composed and so steady at the moment, the Bombers. It's, um, yeah, it's great signs early. So uncontested, smart. Tunga Tullin misses the tackle. Smart inside 50. Bangs it long, but again off target and out on the fall. So it looks like the Tiwi Bombers will bring it back into play through Roy Farmer on that far side. So outstanding start from Tiwi in this first quarter. So Farmer... Oh, that's a great kick. Great way to get out. Smart play. And look, it's opened up. Donald, fairly quickly here. Donald Mungatopi now goes to centre wing and just turns it over. That's Thompson that's taking the mark on centre wing on the far side. He's got Erlinson, Erlinson on the half forward flank. Inside 50, Simon Bates, 100th game player, takes him up, plays on quickly. Oh, jeez, oh, he'll Fantastic. regret that one. Oh, 
that, that was beautiful play up until that moment from Wonder, as you saw the intercept mark, a beautiful read from Topsom, and then uh, and Erlinson, a, a nice ball use inside 50. But Bates, uh, one of the quickest players in the comp, tried to get around. But that's the thing when you take on Tiwi, as we see Tiwi beautifully inside 50 once again. And that's probably been the difference. Although a quick play on there. Probably, again, similar to the other end. Didn't you make the most of it. But there's Bombers everywhere here. And that looks like Wanamiri with another chance to uh, kick a goal for the Bombers. Outstanding PO put Jimmy there. Uh, missed kick going inside 50, but he fixed it up pretty quickly. And he's found Austin Wanamiri, obviously, who, Jake, is a fantastic kick for goal. Pete, would you back him with this shot on goal? I certainly would. He's, uh, it's well within his kicking range. I, I reckon another uh, 15, 20 further out would put a little bit of pressure on him. But... Lovely skills, Austin Wanamiri, and uh, so, lo an excellent leader of the side. Ooh, the breeze oh, the breeze has taken that. Yeah, you could see that one just fade away. Probably a little bit of an overcorrection after missing that one from the pretty much exact same spot on the other side. So Wanderers with a couple of misses now as they go 3-2-20. But uh, the signs are, are promising. So Brenton Motlock will bring it back in for the Muck Mucks. He goes long outside 50 grandstand side. Mm, that's a good Wilson. get there by Josh Wilson. Yeah, plays what he quickly. should have taken. Tottenham then goes down the wing. A bit of a missed kick, and it rolls out of bounds in front of Chapel. So we will have a centre uh, boundary throw in on the on the half forward flank for for the Wanderers uh, early in this first quarter, who are yet to score. Jake. Yeah, no, no points yet for Wanderers, but I think um, they'll be a bit more positive with the way that they've used the ball the last five minutes. We saw them get inside 50 a couple of times there. It's just probably about. Um, making the most of their opportunities now and getting those big bodies like uh, Erlinson, even, uh, you know, Nook Mansell trying to get it. But again, Tiwi Bombers are just finding so much space out of those um, out of those contests in the middle. So Tip and Woody to space to Orsto. Fantastic ball movement here. Again, Wanamiri gets on the end of it. Brenton Motlop, good spoil, good yeah, pressure. Yeah, just did bounds. enough because uh, Wanamiri probably thought he had that one and it could have been uh, paid on a, on a different day, but nicely done by Motlop to uh, just get enough pressure on Wanamiri. Miri there. That was a little bit too easy away from the uh, stop play here at the boundary just in front of our broadcast point. So, uh, yeah, Wanderers, perhaps uh, the pressure of uh, turnovers and Tiwi taking advantage of their turnovers is uh, creating a, a bit of pressure for the uh, Eagles. So, Tip and Woody now in pursuit of the football. Can't take possession, but is pushed away from him. Matthew Motlop then handball forward. We've got Thompson... It's pretty scrappy out there, Jake. Yeah. Someone looking. They need to get a clearance here or another stoppage. Wanderers look like they're away here through Thompson. Yeah, well done by uh, Motlop and Thompson there. Never gave up on that one and uh, managed to get the result after as Bates uh, goes in here. But it's, uh, again, the Bombers who are kind of coming off best out of those uh, contested situations. They find space inside 50 once again. Put Jimmy to Dion Mankara. They're just finding space here, like you said, everywhere, Jake. Heenan unable to take the mark. Fantastic pressure from yeah, Brimacombe. Brimacombe there did beautifully well to uh, just put on that pressure. The the guys at the back for Wanderers are, are doing a good job. They're under a lot of pressure, but they're certainly uh, trying to make the most of that. So that's a smart kick down the sideline there too to uh, uh, get his side out of trouble. But they play uh, play on here, and this will go out for a boundary throw in. But what, d despite being uh, behind at the moment and actually no score on the board, uh, I'm pretty impressed with the likes of uh, Motlop and uh, Brimacombe and the way they're putting pressure on the the Tewi Bombers are not letting them get that easy run inside 50, despite the fact that the Bombers are getting in there. Yeah, it looks like Tewi have got a bit of an issue here with Aaron Daniels on the boundary line. As the boundary umpire throws the ball in, we have Adams and Putin Tadamiri contest for the so ball. So easy getting out of that. Show as Tunga Ross Tunga Tala Tala usually does well in these situations. He's spun around. He's done about a 720 there, Ross Tunga Tala, trying to get out of that one, and he's pinged in the end. Wanderers will try and make the most out of this situation, although uh, Tiwi have marked up pretty well in response. So clearing ball from Cabillo. He'll go center wing grandstand side. Neil Vivi sets himself, flies under the ball, and out of bounds on centre wing. We'll have another boundary throw in here. Like Peter has mentioned just before, Jake, plenty of, probably a little bit easy for Tiwi to mm. get these clearances away. Wanderers probably need to tighten up around these stoppages uh, as we can see it come to a one-on-one -on -one situation now. Well, they've got mostly. the big bodies in there. It's just not making the most. And then you can see there, like Jake Nums, you know, probably, <laughs> got, you know, They've got that height and size in the ruck, but not making the most of it at the moment, although they do streak away here. That's on the left boot of Justin Smart. Looks 
Yeah. Oh, he's pinged it. Well done from Justin Smart, and that's just the thing that the Wanderers needed. He, he was sort of swaying with it at that one. I thought it was going off to the left, but that's a great goal and just what Wanderers need. Well, Pete, he was inside that stoppage, wasn't he, and spread hard from it and obviously finished. Yeah, it was very, very smart play by uh, Young Bates, and uh, and Smart swung onto his preferred left foot. You can uh, see he's that. always going to get a uh, a fair bit of distance with his kick, with that breeze at his back. So a critical goal for the uh, Eagles. That might just, I reckon they've stepped up anyway. The last five minutes. Yeah, you can see on that replay uh, just there, very well done uh, from Smart because he was that first one in the contest, got it out to Bates, but then stayed with the play. Coaches love to see that kind of stuff, and he got rewarded for it. So again, Wanderers with the tap, unable to clear the ball. Tiwi, great pressure around the stoppage. Mar attacks the footy quite hard, tambling one hand, then clears the ball centre wing where Tottenham will wait under the ball. He's waiting for the bounce. Not a great yeah, bounce. Yeah, didn't get it. Good Couldn't contact there. Yeah. Gives him a bit of a bit of a what for. VV comes out from centre half forward. Good hands by Neil Turns. VV. Yeah, well Off done. Fijo to Tambling. He'll now go inside 50. It's the first time we'll probably see Chapel on a lead. Poor kick inside 50, great clearance by the Tiwi Bombers, and it looks like they're away again through Mankara. Tunga Talam Hook goes through for the handball, a little cheeky handball, but Mankara didn't give it to him, and again, plenty of space out here. P.O. put Jimmy, well done Bremicone, great spoil. Kerenor, Cyril Kerenor that is, holding the ball, play on. Mil VV down the line, poor kick, Arthur, good pick up. He's got support in fair head, pressure outstanding from the Tiwi Bombers. Dion Mankara, well done. Yeah. He started very promising this game. Great swarming defence uh, from the Bombers. Well, he's just given it up here. A little push in the back of the head to Fairhead has turned it over. So Wanderers again with an opportunity to go inside 50. Big Chapel, from Chapel here, eight. but he's overestimated. Beautifully done there. Uh, what was that? Uh, Virgil Purin Tanamiri. That was just a great read. And um, yeah, the Chapel, the big fella, uh, he's certainly the biggest man in that forward line, but uh, he probably hasn't played against the TV Bombers real often. We see the better of him. Cyril Kerenua clears the ball there. I think he's got 50. Cyril Kerenua looks like he possibly should be out playing Auskick, <laughs> but today he is here playing in the Premier League. Uh, very exciting young prospect, him. Peter. Probably 25 years old too. So. <laughs> well, he's got the ball in his hands There's now. He says, Auskick or not, fellas, I'm streaking up uh, the field. He's, he's quite a skillful little, uh, little player, another product of the uh, Tiwi Island Footy League competition, so good play. Yeah, very smart use here. Paddy yeah. Handel finds him at centre forward. Play on, be, up no. play, has not paid the mark. Oh, yeah. Cab Cabello be, comes away with a poor kick again inside 50. VV in pursuit. Can he pick it up cleanly? He's got plenty of pressure around him. He does pick it up, he's got support, but an, again, poor handball. Tiwi potentially are going to clear this ball. They, oh, they do through Mount A little bit Mankara. of tunnel ball to himself, Dion. And Roy Farmer goes down the wing. P.O. put Jimmy's work in the backside off today. Mankara says, no, you won't. I'm going to kick that. So is Dion Mankara, isn't he? Everywhere and just diving on it there. Jeez, I love the pressure from Dion so far this game. And so far, Pete, it feels like these last couple of minutes, both sides have just upped their intensity just a slight. To a degree, but I think there's a bit of a problem. Tiwi are, are tending to sit off from mistakes at the moment. So uh, that works in Wanderers' favour. Well, some positives there from Peter Atkinson for Wanderers early in this game. Ball comes in. Wilson cont uh, uncontested yeah. in the ruck contest. Tambling had plenty of time. Quick kick forward. Chopped off really well by Mungatopi. Plenty of space out here too. And they are away, Jake. Nicely done by Keelan Fijo there just to try and slow uh, Tiwi down. We know that when they get out, they're always very efficient, but he's done well. They are out here and looking to go inside 50. Nice pick up and back over the head. That's gone to Donald Mungatopi who swings there. This is this would be anybody's. It's up. Nicely done by Wanderers there and Tyler Brimacombe will try and get them out of uh, trouble here as they spread uh, over to the Morris Rioli side of the field. So Erlen Erlenson goes short to Bates who turns and faces the game. He can see something he likes out on the far side there. Great, great kick. kick. Braden McLean, VJ now. Now this is the first time we've seen Wanderers get a bit of a run on here. Inside 50 again, Chapel gets an opportunity. Nicely done. Sam Arthur, great mark inside 50. Well done through VJ, but very composed through Simon Bates, Erlinson, um, through the back line. Pete, very good transition from Wanderers. I think there's a bit of a common factor in the quality of delivery coming out of halfback, and that's Braden McLean. I just think he adds a little touch of class across there, so better delivery, and uh, Sam Arthur normally a, no a good set kick for goal. 
Arthur coming in now, nice and composed. Didn't look great off the boot, and it's not, and goes through for a minor score. Probably I tell you, him. Yeah, I tell you what I did like there is, again, Tiwi out quite easily. Um, I did like that, you know, they went pretty much the length of the field there, Wanderers, but when you've got these big bodies in the forward line, you want to make um, quick use of the ball to give those big boys, you know, the, the chance to use those bodies and not get into the scrap, and they did that really well there. I'm sure Wanderers will be looking to continue that kind of play today. Well, Adam Tippin, what he flies from the back. Probably didn't have any right to fly like that, but he did. Bates, great pick up, and off he goes onto his left boot, long down the line. Daniel sets himself under the contest. Can't take the mark. Oh, great with pick the up. big Fen too. Neil Vivi, nicely it's done. And a great kick as well. That's a beautiful play there from Neil Vivi. He's a big man, but uh, uses it beautifully well. And that is a great tack. Is that Nook Mansell? Yes, it is. Nook Mansell. Back in the side this week, and that at full flight uh, is an absolutely fantastic grab, and he's going to make it easy, even easier for himself with a 50. And uh, great goal there for Wanderers, uh, Nook Mansell, and uh, or VV to Mansell. That was um, yeah, that was a great play. Yeah, impressive. Uh, Chapel, first time we've seen him out in the lead, and a kick that actually went to advantage. Mm. Good mark, and then obviously it all started win. from Bates. He, he's been sensational in game one, uh, number 100 for Wanderers, but that's just um, that's what you need that, that quick use. And well done by Neil VV here with the fend, get it onto the right boot for Chapel. And this is what I was saying just before if you can get that early ball and give these big bodied uh, forwards the chance to go one on one, that's where they're going to uh, uh, really get their bacon today. Wanderers, so look, man, some great grab there. That's finish. just fantastic. So back in the middle of the ground, Adams and Jaden Adams and Daniels contest the ruck. Ball is going to be held in. We're going to see another stoppage here <laughs> right on the centre centre circle. Jake, they will continue again. So it'll be Adams again and Daniels to compete this contest. It's interesting to see. We, we see the um, the contest there, but there's a been a couple of times where the Bombers haven't even bothered trying to contest, and I think they're just going to try and pick up the scraps. They did do it there, but um, you know, it would be interesting to see how that develops if... Uh, if the Bombers will just prefer to, to lay off and try and get first hands on it once it hits the deck. So Marcus Tottenham draws the free, uses Braden McLean, who then goes wide. Jared Erlinson potentially taken out of the contest and does get a free kick. The umpire has... No, he's bringing it back. So Jared Erlinson will get the ball on the half-forward flank uh, for the Muck Mucks, forward of centre. Uh, plenty of Tiwi numbers flooding back here, so he'll have to go short. Chapel steaming out, Ooh, put his body on the line. That lead. was Dion Mankara put his body on the line. Fantastic work. Nook Mansell, Mansell again. again. And just to the left uh, behind for the Muck Muck. So Nook Mansell, not known for his goal kicking prowess, has had two shots on goals in about two minutes. So uh, Roy Farmer brings the ball in short. Paddy Heenan. They're looking to come grandstand side here, and they do. They find Randy Mungatopi who then goes short again. Great Theo Port Jimmy, who's working very hard early on in this game. He's got plenty of options short. Not on, he doesn't like it. He's and go bring the ball in, in board. Dangerous kick, but Ross Tunker Tullum's there, so there's no such danger with it. Dion Mankara, great pressure on Jared Erlinson, who really attacked the ball, body line the footy, uh, and gets the stoppage for the Muck Mucks on centre wing will see the umpire ball it up. Jeez, uh, Dion Mankara has been great in this first term. Actually, all of the Wanderers have been, uh, all of the Tewi Bombers have been great this first term, but it's funny, sort of just looking at that scoreboard, there's only a goal in it. I feel like Bombers have probably been uh, the dominant side this quarter as the Wanderers do get away once again, warming up into this game nicely. But uh, yeah, only six points in it, and we'll see what Wanderers can do here. So Kabila in a bit of trouble here, umpire holding the ball, fantastic tackle there through Jack Mankara, who's been amazing early on. He goes wide to a two-on-one. Fijo seems to be in the box seat to win this contest. Our Oz kicker in Cyril Kerenua is there. <laughs> Fantastic tackle out to Tambling. Can he pick the ball up? He can. He's got support through Fijo. Nicely done. Who, oh, and, great tackle there. And VV inside 50, smart. Well done, Wanderers. Fantastic transition to play there. Plenty of pressure on centre wing, which allowed them to take this mark inside 50 smart. 
is now going to potentially have a, going to have a shot after the, the siren, Jake. Yeah, well, and this is to tie up the scores. It's been a sensational uh, quarter of footy, probably my favourite quarter of footy so far to date this season. And if Smart can uh, chuck this one through the big sticks, we've got it at uh, 20 apiece going into the second. Unbelievable after the start from Tiwi Bombers. So Smart goes bang and... Not enough mustard on that one. So that leaves it at 3-2-20 to the Bombers. 2-2-14 for Wanderers. Isn't that the new neighbour? Yep, pretty sure she's from down south. She arrived last week. Just had her windscreen broken by a falling coconut. No, 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 no. I was at Jingly. Jingly! If she was with TIO, she'd be talking to a local. Might even be from Jingly. Am I covered for coconuts? And it's good to know. TIO Comprehensive Car Insurance offer the option of no excess for windscreen claims. Jingly Coconut Curry. Dad. Time to escape, cause I'm in need of warmer weather. Sail upon the stream to find there's someplace better. And I'm going far and wide. Ooh. Great Northern Brewing Co. The beer from up here. 1,300 kilo Newton Central Fugal Force, infrared remote control. How does he do it? 24.5 kilowatt diesel motor. He doesn't just know how to operate every piece of Kenard's high gear we get in, but also its service details and safety checks. I don't know. <laughs> it's as if he can hypnotise each piece. <laughs> Give me two passes with sauce, coffee white with one, bun with icing, no pink icing. Yep, no worries, Terry. Another life saved with the Chemist Warehouse app. Take control of your health and wellness. Download now. Intersport, new concept store now opening Casuarina Square. Come in and check out a world-class shopping experience. Dedicated sports zones. Now stocking only the biggest brands in tennis, tennis. Cricket. cricket, fitness from treadmills to benches, boxing, boxing. Swimming. swimming, darts, pool and table tennis. For awesome service and advice, Still locally owned and operated, the all-new Intersport Concept Store. Now open at Casuarina Square. And we are back, second quarter, not too far away. Andrew Hodges to my direct left, Peter Atkinson one more further over. Fellas, great first quarter of footy. Yeah, I think Pete and I were just talking about it, how good Tiwi Bombers, their, their opening sort of 10 minutes. And to Wanderers' credit, I reckon Mo Motlop's talking about it right here. They come back late in the quarter uh, to get themselves right back in this game. Pete? Yeah, I agree. I thought after the uh, blitz of the first six or seven minutes to wander his credit. Look at yeah. that crap. That was just great. Sorry, mate. That was just a great grab there by uh, Ozzy Wanamiri on that replay. I just thought that uh, to wander his credit, they just lifted uh, and made less mistakes. And Tiwi, after their dominance for five minutes, started to uh, fall into the area of uh, waiting for mistakes. So it evened the game out. So we're in a pretty good situation at the moment. In the margins, only one goal. But... We uh, may have the benefit of a breeze, which going by the flags is uh, actually a change in direction. So that, that was a benefit that one was 
Yeah, yeah it's a bit definitely swirling around a bit at the moment, that breeze. But uh, I think the, the one thing that Brenton Toy will be uh, telling his fellas is that you're right in this contest, but like try and keep that intensity up for the full first quarter. Yeah, look, they probably should have maybe put them away a little bit more. Mm. But as we predicted before the game, these two sides love to play quick, exciting brand of footy. Yeah, it's been and great. And so watch. far, we've, we've definitely seen that. So, um, two o'clock game, we talked about it earlier that. Tiwi, all their games this season so far have been the 2 o'clock time slot. Wanderers, this is their first game, so it'll be interesting to see where their fitness is at and how good their pre-season has been um, to run this game out. So Tiwi potentially in the box seat, but Wanderers, pretty proud club, and in a milestone game for Simon Bates, um, I'm pretty sure they'll want to go into half-time up on the scoreboard. Yeah, exactly right, Hodgie. You mentioned the, the 2 o'clock game, and for those uh, watching interstate, yeah, you know, you've got to remember this is about 35 degrees on the temperature gauge out there. It's a lot hotter and we're at, you know, 60, 70% humidity. It is really, really hot down there and uh, it'll certainly take its toll on the players as uh, as the game wears on. So we are underway in the second quarter. Wilson clear tap down. Bates off the back of the circle. Inside 50. High kick. Chapel sets himself. Oh, and nicely goes done, Bates <laughs> to Chapel. That is brilliantly done. That's exactly what the Bombers did in the first quarter. Uh, so they'll be much happier with that start, uh, Wanderers, and a great chance for Chapel to uh, even the scores up right here and start with an absolute bang. So the big full forward needs to finish this one to get it level on the scoreboard. Slow approach, very. Relaxing approach. And <laughs> Very casual, but uh, a good got, the, yeah, got the result in the end. And you can see uh, how much the Wanderers have got around uh, Big Chapel there. Uh, that's great, uh, great vision to watch. And uh, yeah, really good signs for the Wanderers there. Pete, set move, Wilson to Bates at the centre square. Uh, yeah, and it worked beautifully. Bates, uh, Bates has had a fantastic game, but uh, his ability to read the ball off the hand was... Uh, Classic uh, and could be used by coaches. It was just terrific. Also, that was uh, Bates' unpreferred foot too. He's a left footer usually, uh, Simon That's Bates. So used. to chuck that, in. pardon, was it? I thought he put that it on the right. Around this way. Oh right. So back in the centre circle, Wilson and Fred and put Freddie put in Tatamiri. Oh, it's again, an instant replay. Again, Bates inside 50. Big Chapel's got to work a little bit harder to get to this one. Tiwi clear the ball through Dixon. No, not yet. Fantastic pressure from McLean. Fijo, the heat is on. Poor handball there from Puntata Mary, who Wanderers are, well, sorry, Tiwi Bombers will be lucky to clear this. It looks like they might through the outer side, but Fijo closes up space on <laughs> Jason Puntata Mary. Oh, the no looker, I love very it. Very evasive to Randy Mungatopi, who, who is caught. So Tiwi unable to clear that ball. Fantastic pressure there. Again through Simon Bates. Inside 50, not the greatest kick in the world. Again, Tiwi really need to clear this ball. Heenan under a little bit of pressure here from Neil uh, VV. He's done well there, VV. His body going a little bit too quick for his legs there. <laughs> Guessed it to Braden McLean. Oh, that is a great... Oh, no. It's a, I was with you there, yeah. Jake. That looked like it went through the middle, but obviously the umpire's in a... <laughs> a lot better position than what we are. Better than us. And <laughs> and Jeez, it looked good off mind. the boot, though. But anyway, great start for Wanderers regardless. Uh, really putting pressure on Tiwi, and it uh, certainly uh, has a different feel to it this quarter in terms of Wanderers' dominance uh, early on. Good mark by Braden McLean. Inside 50 again, wayward kick there, where Lean will just chop it off. And yeah, nicely done there by Lean. Uh, just read that one nicely off the boot and will try and get his boys out of trouble. It goes towards Ben. Oh, big spin on that one and it stays in. I think everyone saw that one going out for a boundary throw in, but it doesn't. Wanderers could be away here if they manage to. Oh, nice fake there. That was Bo Cubillo. Beautifully done. And Again, Lean does pretty well to uh, get it out over the boundary side. He's uh, had a, a real effect uh, for Tiwi Bombers, Lean. I think he's. He's uh, been the steadier when uh, Wanderers have come back at them, but at the moment Wanderers approach much more aggressive and uh, much cleaner and much more skillful. I mean, it's nothing new, Peter, and you'd know better than most uh, how important it is for the Bombers to have that big body in those sort of key positions. Nicely done there by Wanderers, and that's a goal. Beautifully done, and <laughs> they're just flying this quarter. Hodgie. Sam Arthur does love a goal, and he has roved that perfectly. Great work from Wilson straight down his throat. 
and probably just a lack of accountability at that stoppage, Pete, from the Tiwi Bombers. Yeah, they've just got, uh, got an extra metre or so uh, off their men now, and uh, that's opening the door a little bit for Wanderers. So there needs to be a lift, and that comes yeah, from usually from the more experienced players, and uh, they need to be in there. Roscoe Tungatalam uh, needs to head them up. Paddy Heenan hasn't had his best game so far, so he needs to lift. They need to get it in the middle. Yeah, they haven't got a ruckman. It looks like that Wilson has gone bang these last three stoppages, given yeah, the first again. use. Uh, does get the tap again. Heenan oh, tapping on Tunga yeah. Tullum inside 50. Wanamiri in the box seat for this one. Oh. Brendan Motlop puts enough pressure on, Nine clears the ball. Ma chops it off with just 15 metres, I would say. So mm. he comes to this far side. Poor kick to Erlinson. Put him under a lot of pressure. With Puddin Panamiri just could not pick the ball up. Thompson... Looked like he'd been had his head taken yeah. off, but Cabillo, well done, finds Bates through the middle of the ground, and the Muck Mucks are away. He does well in these situations, Simon Bates, and puts it on the left. It's inside 50 to the contest. Well, had a, got a fair hand to it, puts it, no, goes out to a contest. Oh, taken pretty high there. Play on continues. Chapel puts it on the right boot. This is messy. Fair head goes to ground. That will. Looks yeah. like a free to Wanderers. It was just a sloppy, uh, sloppy tackle attempt there. Fairhead head over the ball was taken high. Now gets an opportunity to go back and put another one on the board. There's something. Uh, there's something about this uh, Michael Long uh, learning and leadership side of the uh, ground where all the goals are happening down here at the moment, especially early on in quarters. All of a sudden, Fairhead uh, comes in, has a little bit of a skip, has a second skip, puts it onto the right foot leans it away and he's not overly happy with it but all of a sudden it's Wanderers out to a uh, seven uh, eight sorry uh, point lead kind of seemingly out of nowhere so Josh lean long kick outside 50 to bring it into play Adams after the ball he's got a bit of pressure on him from Kerenua but well chopped off by Ma unable to hit a target on the far side Bit scrappy again. Tiwi will come away with it, and now they're out. They've got Ross Tunga Tullum on half four. When the ball's in his hand this with a bit of space, dangerous. he always does something with it. Oh, Often beautifully like done. Champagne footy, Jake. That was that outstanding. That is class. That is Ross Tunga Tullum at his best. That's the nightmare of uh, <laughs> playing on Ross Tunga Tullum because he, he should have run with Ma, and Ma ran up to the contest. But Tiwi won the ball, and who was standing by himself? But yeah, absolutely. Ross and if you do go off Ross Tungatala, you've, <laughs> you've got to make pay. sure that Someone you do something with the footy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, one of Mary's missed side. a couple today. He puts this one on the right foot. He's pretty right. happy with that one, though. And the two men that made it happen share a nice little hug there. And Tiwi stem the flow a little bit after a great start by Wanderers, and uh, that was beautifully done, as you mentioned before. Ma just didn't quite get enough on that one, and. Uh, uh, the Bombers really made them pay. Yeah, look, as Pete said before, when Tunga Tullum's out the back, you know you're in a beautiful to watch. Bit of, bit of trouble, yeah, and that's just laced out. Fantastic champagne footy. And um, you didn't quite see it there on the replay, but good strength from Ozzy Wanamiri, just using his body really well and uh, reacted the quickest to the to the turnover there. And, um, yeah, you mentioned before that the likes of Tunga Tullum, Heenan and Wanamiri need to stand up, the experienced players, and they've done exactly that. All I wonder is work their way inside 50 here. Yeah, another clearance from there. Munga Topi well chopped off at half back. Wanderers with plenty of numbers on that far side. Fairhead is now that smart with the ball and tackled. So away they go here through Kerenua. They've found one by feet. That's Adam Tip and Woody on the far side there. He goes short inside to Jack Munkara. Again to Daniels. Jeez, They've got plenty of space here everywhere. and plenty of numbers. Again on this far side, Paddy Heenan Will he play on? No, he just holds Thought up because there's it. not too much movement up the ground. He is now fine down Mankara. He's got a little bit of separation from his opponent. Oh. Albert Tip and Woody on the lead. Can't take the ball clean. Brenton Motlop, good pick up. Plenty of pressure and the ball goes out had of bounds in the Tiwi Ford pocket. Had that been taken, that may have been the, the prettiest end-to-end -end play that we'd seen this season. That was just almost like they were at training. We just, you know, plotted it up the field. Not a problem in the world. Um, and that'll uh, be very enco uh, encouraging to, to Brenton Toy. So That's it from the stoppage, but uh, the ball's going one way out of the centre, as you pointed out, uh, uh, Hojo, and uh, that's a problem for Tiwi. So on the far side, Erlinson to McLean, who is a very good user of the football, goes 
to Vivi, who is Beautiful spread done. extremely hard. Has a bounce inside 50. And will he finish? No, he won't. That's so why he plays centre half back. He normally plays centre half <laughs> back, but he's been very good up forward today, nonetheless. Uh, and unfortunately, could not finish that. And I would suggest that both sides will need to make the most of every opportunity they get today. Yeah, no, exactly. On a hot right. day like today. Oh, Two points sure. in it as well. So you've got to make the most of those opportunities. Absolutely. So the Tiwi Bombers will bring it back into the pl into play through Virgil Putantanamiri. Nice short kick. He finds Donald Mungatopi in the back pocket. So not much going on. So they create something through Daniels here. Kicks down the line. Adam Tip and Woody flies. Doesn't put his hands up. Well done nice by, by Motlop. Motlop. Tambling scoots away. He is well tackled. Oh. Jack Mankara. Fantastic pressure. So the Tiwi Bombers on half back here. Haven't got much on the gr down the ground, so he goes long down the line. Tunga Tullum, Wilson. Oh, lovely hands there by Wilson. Just chucked out the big left mid and it's stuck. He's been the difference in this quarter, boys, I would suggest. And he goes long down the line. Neil Vivi sets Oh, big grab. That's what you get for knocking him. And oh, look at that. That's a nice great Nice cluck. He goes inside 50. Fairhead can't take the mark. Braden McLean on his right boot. Will he finish? No. Geez, that was a uh, great grab and uh, lead at the ball there by Neil VV. And um, yeah, Wanderers, I guess, using those bigger bodies a lot better this second quarter. You can see <laughs> Neil VV is currently uh, up against, I think that is Karen Neuer, and uh, about two foot taller than him at the moment. Uh, Matty Motlop, good mark outside 50. So Tiwi a little bit inaccurate going outside of their 50 metres. And this is Plummer. So Plummer, first time we've seen him today, will potentially get a shot on goal. He doesn't look too confident no. as he's looking inside. Short lead from Arthur, ignores it, goes at the goal face. It's in a dangerous spot. Again across goal for a point. So Tiwi Bombers again will bring it back in and Josh Lean goes bang every time he yeah. kicks it into that far side. So Tiwi Bombers... Got a Bombers, good boot on him, doesn't yeah, he, Josh Lean? Ma has read that really well to Bates. Inside 50, just pots up someone to try and take a catch. Chapel, no good. Great spoil by the Tiwi Bombers. Jason putting Tatamiri with a signature run and bounce yeah. out of defence, and he just goes long down the middle. Nicky has read that really well for the Muck Mucks, and will chop it off here at half back. And he's oh, got Thompson again. in support. Inside the centre square where Wilson, again, is on his own. So he just pops the ball to space. Marcus Tottenham. Very lucky. Good courage there by Yeah, Tottenham. very good courage. Inside 50, fair head now. A little bit scrappy, but they've got the right man on the end of it here in Braden McLean. Nice kick, Chapel. Oh, that's beautiful. And again, done. clunk, Jake. He has got a fantastic set of hands, the big fella. He does, doesn't he? He's been pretty impressive so far from what we've seen, uh, doing all those things that, are, that a key forward uh, needs to do. And, you know, when, you, when you've got the size on your opponent, but certainly not the speed, it's uh, you've got to rely on the mitts, and he's, uh, he's doing exactly that. So, again, slow approach on goal. Can he finish it? And the umpire... Is, says no. It's off to the. It's a very lax approach, isn't it? It <laughs> is. It is. It is. And, but he's definitely straightened Wanderers up. We saw Wanderers last week against Nycliffe. Uh, really needed that power forward, and he looks like they are quite comfortable kicking it long. Yeah, I, I like the look of him. He's uh, he's been very impressive so far. So back into play oh, against Wanderers. Chop it off. Oh, that's a beautiful little interchange there by Wanderers. Bates puts it on the left foot. It goes up to contest. Chapel again. Gets down on the ground this time, but Ross Tungatalam uh, has a bounce and uh, gets it away down the far side of the field. If they can get a good bounce here, the, the, the Bombers might be away. That's Dion Mankara, who looks like he's been pinned, and he is. Yeah, young Keenan Thompson, uh, fantastic effort there to hold him up there, holding the ball, and uh, now they're going to compose themselves uh, through halfback Ma, who we've seen play midfield the last yeah. few weeks. He was great in the midfield it last week. It looks so. like he's playing across halfback today. He goes sideways to Nicky, who's had a haircut this week by the looks of it. To <laughs> Bremer Cone, plays on quickly. Here's that man again, Wilson. The big fella doesn't want to kick it. He wants to handball, but he does anyway. Out wide to Tambling. Almost takes a great mark. Plenty of Can't keep his feet. Great contest. Oh, well Nook done Mansell. by Nook Mansell. He's been good today. Oh, Always pops one in the melon for good measure. And it looks like Wanderers again are going to go inside 50 through Fijo to towards Chapel. 
almost takes the mark. And again, Tiwi Bombers clear the ball. Virgil Puntanamiri doing a fantastic yeah. job. Adams caught on centre wing. Fijo again. Heenan had him on toast, but they oh. no team can get a clear clearance <laughs> here as Gabilo. No, Gabilo does well. Yeah, and Matty Motlop. So both sides a little bit scrappy here. Someone needs to get a mark from this situation to slow the tempo of the game down. Cabillo Nicely does done exactly by that. And that and was beautiful. Mar finds Marcus Tottenham inside 50 uh, on a slight angle about 40 metres out. Pete, very scrappy passage of play, but nonetheless, Wanderers yeah, lot, get a shot lots of Lots of energy, though, lots of effort, which is uh, credit to both sides. But Wanderers uh, coming out the better. They're getting more numbers around contests. Uh, young Tottenham, this is a great opportunity for him because this is well within his kicking distance. <laughs> well, As unfortunately, said, he hasn't made the most of it. He might still be hard. reeling from Hodgie's uh, knock on him last weekend. But uh, <laughs> um, well, it doesn't matter, though, because Wanderers sneak around and uh, Chapel puts it on the right foot and uh, gets another goal to his name. That's uh, nice work by Wanderers there. Chapel drew the free kick. Uh, obviously, there's a fair bit of a breeze going against Tottenham there. So just to his defence. And Chapel's drawn the free kick, played on quickly and kicked the goal. But... You can see here, very scrappy passages of play. Wanderers at all costs just wanted to get the ball forward. Uh, and in the end, Cabillo, just a fantastic yeah. kick and vision to find. It was great vision, in the wasn't middle it? Of the ground. Yeah. That's the, what smart the, players do. Pretty handy lead now in the conditions because the, the heat's certainly going to fatigue both sides. Even though Saint, uh, Tiwi have been playing <coughs> the 2 o'clock time slot, uh, I guess the, they started the season a fair bit behind on their fitness level. So... Can't assume that just playing each week is going to give them any huge advantage. And when you're chasing, it's just so much harder. But I think their bigger problem is in the centre square. So yeah, centre square, and probably the chapel's definitely um, providing oh, it's some obviously headaches the as problem well. when it gets down there, but yeah. they're just not getting it out at all. It goes wanderous way every yep. time. Yeah, again, great right example right there. So Adams again out of the middle, great tap, but chopped off by Paddy Heenan, puts it out wide. Bit of room Adam, here. Adam, plenty of room for Adam Tip and Woody. Usually uses the ball very well on this occasion. Beautiful. It looks like he has again. Couldn't turn him very quite, couldn't take the mark. Smart and Brimacone both involved there for the muck mucks. Oh, Luke nicely Mansell, done. Yeah, there. well tackled. Brenton Motlop looking to clear the ball. Can't with a bit of aggression. Couldn't turn him very quick handball out to Wanamiri. Mankara goes bang and the Bombers get one on the board. Great goal there by Dion Mankara who's been... Probably the best for the Bombers today, but smart play by Ozzy Wanamiri. Probably could have like turned around and put it on the left himself, but saw uh, Dion Mankara with the run. And uh, yeah, lovely play there by Bombers. A bit against the run of play, uh, and they'll be very happy to to get that scoreline a little bit closer. 37 plays 32 now. They know they've got to get it in quickly, and uh, I think the role Adam Tip and Woody played then, where he put it right into the hot spot, was uh, critical to the end result. So when you get it in around players like Austin Wanamiri, <coughs> it's a it's a chance you're going to at least get an opportunity. And as you said, they've got to take every one. I think at the moment, T. We. So again, Adams in the middle to Erlinson, who missed kick, can't quite clear it. Adams cleans up and gets it inside 50 for Wanderers. Bates, good contest there at half forward. Arthur VV. Arthur quick kick forward, can't get pos clean possession either side here as Randy Mungatopi just bangs it forward, oh, an gone. ugly little <laughs> kick forward. Tiwi now have some time and space through Ross Tungatullam who Beautiful has just... Kick. Beautiful kick. Adam Tip and Woody has worked extremely hard in that situation. Nice little kick over the top and again, Tiwi Bombers, Tip and Woody plays on quickly, PO put Jimmy... Inside 50, another mark and another shot at goal for the Tiwi Bombers. So, that just beautiful play there. Hodgie starting with Ross Tungatalan with time and space. And, you know, we've mentioned him a couple of times today. When he gets it, he usually makes the most of it and had a great kick out there to Tip Moody. And, uh, yeah, they've made the most of it as uh, P.O. Port Jimmy. Uh, one of my favourite kicks of the footy in the entire competition. Jeezy, he looks great when he kicks the footy and he'll run in here and try to get a goal for the Bombers and he hasn't let me down he just looks so so beautiful when he kicks that football and uh, the Bombers are now back in front 6 2 38 plays 5 7 37. Pedro Atkinson the momentum of the game definitely going with Wanderers in the first half of this quarter Tiwi Bombers seem to have turned it around. That's uh, exactly what happens in footy you get about a three or four uh, minute window you've got to take your chances then Wanderers appeared to be taking them 
and they were getting uh, even more opportunity because of their winning in the centre. But uh, Tiwi's last three minutes has uh, got back to the style that they best suits them, and they've managed to find some of their most skillful and better players, like Adam Tipper Woody kicking to his brother into the young uh, star of the future, and uh, it was good footy. So Adams and Freddie Puttentad Mary contest the centre bounce in the hands of Tunga Tullum. Now can't quite take it. Yeah, he does he now, does. and good fend off. Kicks wide again. Oh, outstanding mark, not paid. Oh, no, it is paid. It is paid there to Jack Mankara, who goes inside 50 off one step. Putting Tata Mary pulls oh, up. Adam great Tippen hand, Tippen Woody. Right. But nonetheless, great lead from <laughs> Tippen Woody. Salt and Machine, he kicked one from the, that exact spot last week, and Wanna Mary couldn't quite take the mark on that far side. Would have been a oh, outstanding look at that on goal. The replay there <laughs> might have got away with that one and might have got a bit of grass on it, but uh, a great mark nonetheless. And yeah, as uh, Peter Atkinson mentioned before about the the windows that teams get uh, on the, the the flow of a football game, and this is definitely the Bombers' time to uh, uh, make the most of the situation they're currently in with all of their forward pressure coming in on Wanderers. So we get another boundary throw up in Tiwi's forward pocket, worth its weight in gold if they can score from this opportunity. Adams and Freddie putting Tana Mary over the top. Quick kick out from that contest, putting Tana Mary. Brenton Motlop with the back heel to Thompson to Tottenham, and looks like the Wanderers are away through Ma. Ma had a very impressive border, had plenty of touches across half back, and a, an kick. outstanding kick. Thompson, who's worked hard. Uh, spread from that defensive line. So he goes long down the line now to centre wing where Tambling contests the situ contest the ball. Tiwi Bombers looking to mop it up, oh, maybe oh, held oh. there. The umpire has said play on and it's just hacked forward. The Wanderers have now gained another 20 or 30 metres and we'll get another boundary throw in on Wanderers half forward flank this time. As we enter time on. So uh, yeah, that uh, went pretty quickly into their forward line. So even uh, allowing for the, the possible miss free. Uh, <coughs> Wanderers uh, did well to get it down into this opportunity and they're doing better at the set plays, stop plays now. So ball thrown in, bit of a mismatch here. Neil Vivi uh, against Donald Bungatopi. Heenan can't pick it up and just hacks it forward. Erlinson has read that really yeah, well to Brimacombe. Inside 50, Arthur sets himself. Can't quite take the mark. Heenan, no, sorry, not Heenan. But it was a fumble there by the Tiwi player. Again, very scrappy in there. Great hands oh. from Paddy Enan. Oh, and he just got a boot on it in time. It looks like the Bombers were away, but Wanderers again might mop this up Thompson's through Brimacombe and Thompson. So, handball to the big fella. Never handball to a Ruckman. I was always <laughs> told like a young fella. He's over the top to Ma, who across our forward, Bates hits up. Freddie Puntatamiri just dropped off it. Bates now plays on inside 50. Out the oh, back. great mark there. And Justin Smart, very good mark inside 50. So, again, Tiwi Bombers just could not get the ball in the, the classy players, as you mentioned, Pete, across half back, and they paid the price, turned the ball over. Wanderers go the other way, get another opportunity. It's well judged, Mark, because he had the player coming at him, so he, he probably had the insurance that he would get a free if there was contact. Um, so it was very, very good, Mark. He's a good player, Smart. He's a very smart player, Peter, <laughs> and... He's gone bang, and he's finished that very well for the Muck Muck. So, horrible pun by Andrew Hodges. Great goal by Smart. And <laughs> that puts Wanderers in front now as we come very close to the end of this second quarter. Boys, who would you say has had the better of this quarter so far? <laughs> Wilson just <laughs> does not like yeah. handballing. <laughs> he always fakes about always, four times. I was always told as a young fella, never handball to a ruckman. And yeah. <laughs> I think Wilson knows that himself. So... Look, nonetheless, they go inside 50, and Smart's finished really well. So we're back in the centre circle here. It'll be Wilson. Freddie Puttentanamiri has contested every ruck contest this quarter. Wilson, again, good tap to Erlinson, who just bangs it forward. Oh, the one-handed marking attempt there by Babu. He, he's unfortunately not taking the mark, but Tiwi are able to clear it. Thompson, bit of a fist. Wouldn't turn Mary goes without it. Mankara, a bit sloppy. Here he there. does it. He's and handballed one. Good on you, Willow. And he's straight to Erlinson on centre wing, who gives it to that smart footballer in, Justin Smart, who goes inside 50, finds Neil VV. 
25, 30 metres out, right in front. This and is... the Wanderers might go into half time with a handy little lead, Jake. Yeah, well, this has been a big, you know, two or three minutes uh, as we've sort of approached the, the 22, 23 minute mark of this quarter. Uh, because, you know, Tiwi were up by a point, And now if Neil Vivi can chuck this one through the big sticks, it's a, it's a nice momentum swing for the Muckmucks. Looks pretty good. He's happy with it, Neil VV, and the boys get around him. Yeah, as I was just saying, this is big for the, for the Wanderers Footy Club, just uh, extending that lead a little bit as we get very close to half-time. Again, yeah, Pete, you that asked turnover. The, you asked the question uh, of who's won the quarter. Clearly, it's uh, Wanderers, because they started the quarter a goal behind, now hold a lead of 11. So it's a, a terrific effort, and, but very important to them because of the uh, conditions of the day. Uh, you know, this early time slot and whatever, it, uh, you just need three or four goals up your sleeve late. Yeah, and anybody who's played a bit of footy up here in these uh, afternoon games know how much, knows how much those goals right at the back end of quarters hurt. You're tired, it's hot, and uh, yeah, when when teams can put those goals on you late, it really does hurt. So Wilson again, Jared Erlinson first hands on the footy again at that stoppage, unable to take clear possession. Players just trying oh, to hack the ball done. forward at all costs. Brimacombe goes to oh, oh what a mark! Braden McLean, an outstanding leap there, goes inside 50, can't quite hit his target in Chapel, but Chapel has drawn the free kick, and we will look for this replay So Braden McLean, outstanding mark. I would suggest he's had about six wheat picks for breakfast, Jake, and he has just climbed over the top to take an outstanding <laughs> he mark was a, there. He was dead set on a ladder, that one. He, that was a great mark. And again, this could be three goals in three minutes for, for the Wanderers Footy Club. And as they're streaking away, the hands are on hips and hands are on heads for the Tiwi Bombers. This is a, a huge part of this game as the nice lax chapel again puts it on the right foot. That's three goals in three minutes and Wanderers are, are right up and about at the moment. Chapel's third goal this quarter and uh, it's just been uh, impressive as you said it straightened them up but combine that with the dominance in the centre mm. and uh, they just needed someone to finish and they've uh, and he's done the job. I think they've found their man probably the most relaxed uh, <laughs> approach. <laughs> on oh look at that that is a sensational grab that's uh, the best grab of the season for mine and uh, yeah that's a uh, great play by Wanderers as we mentioned three goals in about three minutes all of a sudden, they were behind by a point, and now they're they're up uh, quite substantially. All class, Braden McLean. So we find ourselves back in the middle, Wilson and Daniels. Wilson again, just a little backhand out yeah. to Bates. Couldn't quite take oh, clean possession. Fijo, done. little feed up to the 100 game player in Simon Bates. Can he finish? He does. Yes, he <laughs> oh, and aren't they happy about it? Wanderers, four goals in four minutes. This is having a huge impact on this game, and the Bombers, their heads are down. Well done to Simon Bates in game number 100, doing what he does best, some fast run and carry, and puts it on the, that beautiful left boot of his. That's, um, that's a great goal, and it's all stemmed from the middle, as, uh, as we've mentioned numerous times today. When you're getting that run out of the middle of the field, it makes it pretty easy. Simon Bates here on our replay, beautifully done, took the bounce, took his time, and then, uh, yeah, lovely left boot uh, gets the goals. And, you know, all of a sudden, this lead's quite substantial. Credit where credit's due, because Wilson has uh, been very smart. He, he could easily have taken the easy course and just thumped it forward. But uh, he's working so well with these uh, teammates in that centre square. Yeah, he's tapped to advantage again to Erlinson and Bates. He hacks it off the ground himself there. Arthur, plenty of pressure on through the middle of the ground on the Tiwi Bombers. Wooden Tatamiri, nice and done. they're out now here through Daniels inside 50. And a great kick. I don't think it was meant for him. I think it was meant for Wanamiri. But nonetheless, this is Jack Mankara taking the mark inside 50. Thus far, Very I would suggest that Jack kick. Mankara has probably been one of Tiwi's best today, Peter. Oh, he's vastly improved. Uh, the youngest of the three Mankara boys. Simon, obviously, the oldest uh, of the three brothers. As he moves in, he's uh, he's got the skill to do this. But whether he's got the experience to stay relaxed, cough the boot, and it looks like it's right through the middle. A very handy desperately needed goal by the Tiwi Bombers. Could not have said it better, Peter Atkinson. Desperately needed for sure, just to stem the flow of those Wanderers goals. And that one was really kind of against the run of play because we saw here uh, Wanderers did get their hands first to it. But, uh, you know, we can really see the damage that the, the Bombers can do when they actually get some ball out of the middle. But until they fix that problem, 
uh, it seems that Wanderers are always going to have first dibs at it, but beautifully done here uh, by the Bombers too. Um, as you said, I think it was probably meant for Aussie Wanamiri, but uh, well done by Jack Mankara there, and that was a much-needed goal to uh, slighten that uh, Wanderers margin. So, opportunity here for the Tiwi Bombers. Adams into the ruck against Daniels. Daniels competes hard. Jaden still, Adams still gets into advantage of one of his teammates. Unable to clear. Braden McLean, outstanding attack on the ball. Mansell clearing kick out of the half forward flank. Wooden Tanamiri not quite clean with the ball. He's going to pay for it here. As Neil Vivi over the top. Sam Arthur shot on goal. Does he finish? He does. Another fantastic goal from the Muckmuck. So from one end of the ground to the other, we're just going bang, 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 Peter. Oh, that was a very, very good goal by Sam Arthur. As you said before, great goal sense. Um, and... That's exactly the opposite to what Tiwi needed then. Uh, just a little fumble from uh, Purin Tatamiri over on that half forward flank, but he was outnumbered as well. There were three there just waiting. So And the attack from Braden yeah. in the middle of the ground, outstanding. Yeah, excellent play. So, uh, yeah, certainly uh, Wanderers deserve their lead. Yeah, you just mentioned that little fumble there uh, at Co, and yeah, that was the, the real difference there. You can't do that with some of the great ball users that the uh, Wanderers uh, Footy Club has, and they they certainly made uh, Purun Tatamiri pay there. This time, Daniels gets over the top to advantage of Dion Mankara, unable to pick the ball up. The Tiwi Bombers, Cabillo able to hack it forward. Arthur again at ground level. Fijo finds some space here. Another shot on goal, unable to finish it to the right. This is worrying, uh, worrying signs there. The halftime cannot come fast enough for the Tiwi Bombers footy club. Uh, it's sort of uh, the, the, the run of play is certainly against them here. You can see uh, not a lot of guys moving uh, as Lean chucks it on that big left boot of his again. But, oh, that could be 50 as well. Eight. They've had an eight-goal quarter, so uh, that for any uh, club in these conditions is a great effort. So Arthur has another shot on goal, a bit wayward there as he kicks it out of bounds on the fall. So good pressure around the contest there by the Tiwi Bombers. <laughs> the last thing they need in these conditions, a 30-minute quarter. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, certainly been a long run. So was, oh, as we get uh, the si halftime siren there, Wanderers 10 8, 68 plays Tiwi Bombers 7 2 44. We'll be back with the second half just after this. Isn't that the new neighbour? Yep, pretty sure she's from down south. She arrived last week. Just had her windscreen broken by a falling coconut. No, 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 no. I was at Jingly. Jingly! If she was with TIO, she'd be talking to a local. Might even be from Jingley. Am I covered for coconuts? And it's good to know. TIO Comprehensive Car Insurance offer the option of no excess for windscreen claims. Jingley Coconut Curry. Dad! Time to escape, cause I'm in need of warmer weather. Sail upon the stream to find there's someplace better And I'm going far and wide Ooh. Great Northern Brewing Co. The beer from up here. 1300 kilo Newton Central Fugal Force. Infrared remote control. How does he do it? 24.5 kilowatt diesel motor. He doesn't just know how to operate every piece of Kenard's high gear we get in, but also its service details and safety checks. I don't know. <laughs> it's as if he can hypnotise each piece. <laughs> Give me two passes with sauce. Coffee white with one bun with icing. No, pink icing. Yep, no worries, Terry. Another life saved with the Chemist Warehouse app. Take control of your health and wellness. Download now. Intersport, new concept store now opening Casuarina Square. Come in and check out a world-class shopping experience. Dedicated sports zones. Now stocking only the biggest brands in tennis, tennis. Cricket. cricket, fitness from treadmills to benches, boxing, boxing. Swimming. swimming, darts, pool and table tennis. For awesome service and advice, Still locally owned and operated, the all-new Intersport Concept Store. Now over to Casuarina Square.
third quarter we get underway with Wilson and Fred Portantaramiri in the ruck Wilson kicked off where he left off with a clear tap uh, Tiwi Bombers able to clear the ball taken without it there was that Virg, uh, sorry Cyril Karanoa the Oz kicker Pete it was uh, yes it is so uh, he goes, uh, it's Cyril Karanoa you anyway <laughs> so he goes <laughs> wide to Patrick Heenan who will put the Tiwi Bombers inside 50 for the first time this quarter and oh, good mark outstanding there. mark by Austin Wanamiri on that far side. Brenton Motlop looked like he could get a fist on it, but fantastic body work there by Wanamiri. Wanamiri looks like he'll have a crack at it. Again, we've seen in, within the first kind of 15 seconds of a quarter, a, a team down this Michael Longside end of the ground uh, getting a chance very early as Wanamiri thought about having a, kicking it in, but now he's going to have a crack at it. It looks all right, but... Goes to, it's a goal. Great goal there from Ozzy Wanamiri. There wasn't a lot of um, a celebration from the goal square. I'm not sure if anyone knew it was through, but that's a great start for the Tiwi Bombers. A great goal from Ozzy Wanamiri and the exact start that they needed to start this third quarter. And a composed build-up, Peter. Uh, yes, yeah, so just the uh, the break's given Brenton Toy a, a little bit of time to uh, throw around the side a little bit. There's a couple of major moves by him in that he's taken lean out of from centre half back and sometimes in the ruck to full back to obviously got concerns about Chapel but uh, yeah that was good work by uh, Tiwi so we'll see if Wanderers bounce back. So Wilson and Fred and put in Tarimiri again in the middle of the ground. Erlinson first touch on the ball can't clear it. Heenan then moves it put in Tarimiri oh. to Tungatalam goes That's without it. Austin. Fairhead cleans up gets through traffic gets the ball inside 50 for Wanderers. Lean good fist on it but he's all over oh, his opponent yeah. and Chapel has drawn the free kick and within the first two minutes both sides are going to get a shot on goal and Chapel, who so far kicked three goals in the second quarter Peter yes. an opportunity to open his account in the third the odds are always in favor of the man in front and uh, it was clever body use by Chapel. Uh, he's got the reward and again could almost go to sleep as he approaches <laughs> the goal couldn't you it's very relaxed but and he's, he's pushed that one over to the right. He, uh, he'll love to have that one again, Chapel. But uh, a great start uh, for both sides here, getting inside 50. And you can see how important this quarter is going to be for both clubs. So Tiwi Bombers to bring it back in through lean. And Probably should not, have taken a, that not one. a great kick. Bates puts it back inside 50. Chapel wasn't quite ready for it. Caught off guard. He now wins possession of the football. Great pressure from the Tiwi Bombers. Clearing kick outside 50. Bates in the box seat to take this ball. Doesn't. Taps the ball on. Heaton hits it with a bit of a ferocity and takes the ball over the line for a boundary throw in on the Muck Mucks half forward flank. Peter. Yeah, I think Paddy Heenan uh, just for, featured in that play. And a couple uh, like him really need to stand up now for Tiwi Bombers. He's been very good early in this quarter, Pete, as Wilson, Wooden Mary, doesn't contest the ruck. Wilson, clear tap to Arthur, fumbles. Again, Heenan involved, dragged off it without it by Jared Erlinson, and Heenan has drawn the free kick. Tunga Tarlam yeah, straight to come back behind his mark. Uh, very cheeky there, but Heenan now has the ball on half back for the Tiwi Bombers. Not much happening down the ground, so he goes on a short 45, finds his target in Virgil, putting Tata Mary, plays on quickly. Far That's side, a great kick Dion by Mark Virgil. Kara, who was. Wilson was standing him, found in some space on centre wing. So again, Tiwi Bombers, you can see here, very composed, Great waiting run. for it to open up. Virgil putting Tata Mary inside 50 to advantage of Wana Mary, oh, who cannot take the flew, mark. but smart handball. That could be a free. It's not. Well Wanderers done. with a chance to get out of trouble here, and they do. Nicely done by Motlop there. Oh, Ma has a little fumble. Oh, have, have another crack at it here. Way on again, the, the uh, umpire is certainly letting things go here at the moment. Although, as I say that, we get a free here to the Bombers who will work their way inside 50 and do 
and uh, unopposed mark there for the Bummers and they'll get a chance to close this gap once again. It's been an interesting start to this second quarter. Bombers certainly getting a bit more uh, ball on ground level. Very experienced player uh, is Tippam Woody and uh, that was a, just a perfect lead. He started mm. that near the uh, far point post. Beating everything Jack Mankara touches virtually tends to gold, doesn't it? Oh yeah, he's just stepped up two levels this season, so it's just lovely to see because he loves his footy. Tipper Moody nails it through and that's another great goal to the Bombers. This is a great start to the third quarter for them. Uh, we saw Chapel miss one at the other end. Uh, the Bombers are two for two this quarter and this is the exact start that Brenton Toy would have wanted as that gap uh, closes now 10-9, uh, 69 to the Tiwi Bombers, 56. Uh, boys, this has been a, a great start. I think we're in for a great game as well. This game's been a very seesawing affair, hasn't it? It's uh, one minute Tiwi Bombers have a lot of momentum in the game and then uh, and then Wanderers to bounce back and same thing. But uh, just the foot skills of Tiwi there, mm. uh, outstanding. So as we go back into the middle of the ground now, the umpire just making sure there's enough players in the middle. He's happy and he now will ball it up for Wilson and Daniels go at it again. Wilson again, tab to advantage. Bit Bates couldn't take it with him. Mankara, outstanding pressure around the contest. Looks like the ball's not coming out of there and... We will get another stoppage uh, just on the Wanderers' forward half of centre. So again, Wilson and Daniels would compete for this ruck contest. Wilson just hacks it out of the air. Tunga Talam can't take it clean. Erlinson hacks it Great forward. Pick up. Jason put in Tatamiri, fantastic pick up and, and run. Tiwi Bombers are out here through Dixon, Dixon on centre wing. No, but we've got something happening behind play here. And it looks like 100% certain gone going Tiwi's on here. way, uh, and because he was slung after uh, he got rid of the ball, so going by the signal of the umpire. So Dixon on centre wing, he's no, it's at his 50. Sorry, it actually helped Tiwi much. No. Yeah, they were sort of away there. Dixon certainly had plenty of time. But anyway, we uh, play on, and that's a lovely uh, inside 50 there and a great diving mark. That's a uh, sensational play from the Bombers there. It's going to be a pretty tricky uh, angle, but that's um, beautiful. After a, a few awkward seconds of stoppage there, they just got back right on where they left off. So Albert Zip and Woody now will get another shot on goal. He's already kicked one this term. Will he go back in second for the quarter? He's... An outstanding kick at goal, Pete. The way that he uh, kicked his previous one, it'll, it'll suit him here, bringing it left to right. Might help uh, a tough angle, but... Oh, no, he goes back inside. That's a lovely kick, smart play, and Dion Mankara gets a much better angle. That's great play from the Bombers. And potentially a better shot at goal, Pete. Oh, by far, yeah. Uh, it would have taken a fantastic kick, although Austin would have probably went close from the same uh, region, but this was uh, much smarter. Good for so poor checking from Wanderers inside 50 is allowed Dion Mankara to get a shot on goal and finish for the Tiwi Bombers. This would be an outstanding start for the quarter if he can. On the approach. Looks like it's gone left and it has. But very encouraging signs uh, coming out for Brenton Toys men after half time. Uh, they've certainly got a, uh, a bit of run and carry about them this quarter and they'll be uh, looking to try and uh, oh, nicely done there by Neil Vivi who uh, gets up and about. But uh, yeah, certainly encouraging signs for the Bombers at the moment. So Neil Vivi on half back goes long down the line to Chapel. Oh, clean, yeah. good body work there. No, the umpire has played in the back. So <laughs> Josh Ling doesn't know what's going on, but I think that was a pretty obvious uh, hands in the back there as Chapel comes in and puts it right on that 50 mark. Nook Mansell going to get a pretty clean run at this ball. And nice hands there, gets it off to Fairhead. It's gone inside for the Wanderers. One trickling through, it's just going to go through for a minor score. But nicely done there by the Muck Mucks, getting the ball at the other end of the ground. So Tiwi Bomb was back inside play here. Daniel's on the far side. Didn't take the mark, but had plenty of time to mop up and, and clean it up. And he's now gone through uh, Babao, who now will go outside 50, long kick down the line. P.O. put Jimmy, sets himself, doesn't compete. Bottom, well done. Fairhead, back inside 50. Oh, good Lean. grab there. Yeah, fantastic mark. He's been fantastic back there all day. He'll now go straight back where it came from, but just a little bit Jeez, further. He's got a boot on him, doesn't he? Mismatch there. VV Adams. Oh, smart play. And they're out. He couldn't quite take it there, put Jimmy, but here we go through 
Puntata Mary Tungatalam all by himself at half forward. Adam Tip and Woody, and he finishes it for the Tiwi Bombers. That is a Outstanding great goal. To play. That is Tiwi Bombers football at its absolute finest. That's why people love watching them play. Quick tap-ons, run and carry, goals on the run. That is just Tiwi Bombers footy at its absolute finest. And they've got right back in this game with just a seven-point margin. And we saw this contest on centre wing here. Adams, VV competed. All the Tiwi players stayed down. Tip and Woody was at that contest, Pete. Uh, you can see him there compete there. The whole doesn't really compete, just holds his man out. Oh, smart and he was just way. off to the races. Oh, it was just a wave of them, wasn't yeah. it? There were four of them ran and eventually ended up with the player that can really finish it. Uh, of course, Tunga Talam had a role in there too. So, classic team wee foot. Yeah, and just great work by Gary Poor and Tanamiri to stay in that battle. You know, got the nice tap on and then followed his own tap around and uh, got dividends for doing just that. So Adams wins the tap. Heenan cut it off. Uh, Tiwi Bombers unable to clear it. Now Braden McLean clears through Wanderers. Nook Mansell getting very busy in this quarter across half forward. Ball kick inside 50. Jason putting Tanamiri a lot of experience. Ooh. Takes the mark across half back now. Switches it right <laughs> across the kick. ground to another experienced player in Roy Farmer. They've got plenty of options here. Tiwi, but he does go long nice to kick. advantage and Daniels has also lifted his work rate at the start of this quarter. Here they've got two options Aren't they here. looking good? They here. are working extremely hard. Virgil put Tatamiri over the top to the Oz kicker in Keranoa who goes again inside. He and Virgil put Tatamiri uh, sharing the possession count here. Not much on offer here as Wilson has just set himself up behind oh, play. Beautiful. Created something out of nothing there and Puntana Mary again, one of the other Puntana Marys, and Gary now has the ball on half forward, puts it inside. Oh, well read there. All class, Braden McLean goes forward, plenty of numbers here. Lane's come off his man. Nicely done. And has chopped that off. He yeah, ran Josh 30 Lane. metres off his man there to intercept that mark. Outstanding effort, he's been fantastic back there so far this quarter. Now, if he can transition it to the far side, he's got plenty of run on the outside, the Bombers. This has been a great quarter of footy so far. It Just has some both, really great both play. sides taking the game on. So through Babau again, can't quite hit his target in Randy Mungatopi, but Randy Mungatopi oh. creates something out of nothing. And the nicely old, done. The old fall to the ground and stand up and off you go again. Wanna Mary, absolutely outstanding strength. Takes the mark inside 50. Again, Tiwi Bombers across half back, create the turnover, very composed with the ball. Uh, Brenton Toy has definitely changed a few things up at the start of this quarter, Pete. Certainly, but uh, come, what's come with it is a different attitude by the Tiwi boys. It's been a great battle down there between Austin Wanamiri and uh, Brenton Motlop. Um, uh, similar builds in a yeah. sense, and uh, there's been some terrific contests. Uh, but the uh, key to Austin's success or otherwise is converting. Puts it on the right boot. He got one from here earlier on. This one's just off to the right side of the post, uh, bringing it down to uh, exactly one goal uh, lead for Wanderers. But uh, Tiwi's key, he'll be looking to keep this ball down the down their end of the field because they're doing a, a great job when when they've got it in hand. Although that's a, a nice out by Wanderers as they look to get down the line here and there's uh, plenty of open players. Sam Arthur long down the line, tambling competes for that ball. Neil Vivi in support and holding the ball, well done. That was Virgil put Patamiri. So he's also stepped up his his work rate at the start of this quarter. Looks inside, nothing. Got a one on. Uh, poor kick and there. Plummer just straight off the bench. Sam Arthur drives the ball perfectly, kicks long and high, nothing quite there. All bombers back here behind the play. Jason put in Tatamiri now. The bombers are out on the far side. If he can move that ball on quickly, yeah, he's got Dion, Babui. and even oh. Dion Mankara further down the ground. Oh. <laughs> Good chase by Neil VV. Cannot affect it, but here's Dion Mankara now. They have worked so hard from that contest, and now they're at half forward, but Inside 50. Beautiful play Tullum. once again. The Tiwi Bombers are on absolute fire at the moment. That run and carry from Jason Poor and Tatamiri and then the accurate disposal as they approach the 50-metre uh, line. It's been great to see at the moment, especially uh, is it that about this exact same area on that 50-metre line, about 45-degree angle. Uh, can they make the most of this one and even up the scores? They have to take the most of all these opportunities, and they do. Ross Tunga Tullum kicks one for the Bombers. So the Bombers now have got themselves right back in this contest. Peter Atkinson. 
Yeah, the signature move by uh, by Pure and Mary uh, out of the back line it just sets everything up. Any any player with his ability. Uh, just so suited to the Tiwi uh, preferred way of playing, and then you've got the clever players up forward, Dion and Dion Mankara and uh, Ross Tunkatalam. So uh, it just started inside the 50 at the other end and finished with a goal. Yeah, just beautiful play there from the Bombers and really working their way into this contest. That uh, that big lead that the Wanderers managed to get up at the back end of that second quarter is now completely dissipated and uh, we've got it at 70 apiece and even the, the Bombers starting to get a bit of ball out of the centre too, which is very promising. Yeah, through Patrick Heenan, he's been very influential at those centre bounces. Fantastic tackle, Adam Tippenwoody and the Muckmucks able to clear the ball through Thompson who goes centre wing and it's a two-on-one situation here but the ball will roll out of play. Thompson deserves credit his game today you'd know whether he's a really young player. Or... Yeah he's a young young player I think he's 19 years of age and he's come through the Wanderers juniors so it's outstanding to see him get an opportunity here to play Premier League football and, and today some of the best footy he's played. He's been very career. composed today yeah. great credit to him. So ball in centre wing Wilson putting Tanamiri again Tunga Tullum, a little bit great. of magic. Oh, there. get out of here, he says. Fairhead had his measure, though. Great tackle. Plenty of pressure on him there. Fijo, he was out there, boys, and Fairhead just stuck with the with the contest, and they've got holding the ball. So Fijo now will has an opportunity to get the Muck Mucks back inside 50. He goes at a right angle to Mar on centre wing. The ball... Then rolls out of play. The Muck Mucks, good build up there, but just could not do anything with it. So we will have another boundary throw in on centre wing. So you can see here, Tunga Tullam, amazing burst of speed. Tried the Dustin Martin, yeah. don't argue. Fair head equal oh. to the opportunity. Very uh, nearly have scored a free kick. For the big crap there, but wasn't to be. So Wilson again and Puntana Mary. Erlinson on quickly to... Mansell, I think that was inside 50. Farmer chops it off, and the Bombers again out on this far side. Not able to take the mark. Take those. Thompson, Thompson again puts the, the ball on the ground at Tottenham. A little bit of pressure here, plenty of numbers for the Bombers. If they can clear this ball, they potentially will here. Didn't quite get through the bounce there. Can't quite. Thompson again. Plenty Tottenham. of numbers around the ball here for Wanderers. Oh, poor decision making there. That was uh, Travis Tambling, just didn't quite know what to do with it when he got it, and uh, he, the Bombers made him pay. He looked up, Jake, and all he could see was Bombers jumpers behind the ball. So, one well under the Bombers getting plenty of numbers behind the play. So, now we have Dixon that goes long down the line. Daniels competes for it. Tambling, quick tap to Matthew Motlop. Quick kick Bombers inside, Fijo to Arthur. Inside 50, Chapel's got some space on Lean. Lean's done a great job to get back. It's a foot race between the two big units. <laughs> Chapel's tripped over and got it on the boot, and it's going to go through for a minor score. Always like seeing the big fellas go at it and, uh, <laughs> and getting a, into a bit of a win there for the race. Tiwi Bombers. The, yeah. the Muck Mucks look like they were out in that situation. Well, it was too. a good result in the end. It uh, could easily have ended up in a goal to the, the Muck Mucks. So Lean brings the oh, ball in, goes to a one-on-one -on -one contest through the Oz kicker Karanua, who kicks the ball inside, very, very composed, uh, well done. So through Donald Mungatopi here, the Bombers again through Virgil Puntanamiri, couldn't quite get around his opponent, he's been, Fijo, yeah, he's he had been plenty of numbers down the line. Too. So well done Fijo, quick play on to Erlinson who crosses the 50 now, has a shot on goal. He Very loves it too. Goal. And he's kicking. Great it. goal. Jared Erlinson. Been a bit quiet today, but he's uh, stood up when the team really needed him and uh, got the Wanderers back on track after a uh, slow start he's, to the third. That's a great goal, Jared Erlinson. He's been pretty good around stoppages, Jake. He's generally first hand on the ball from Wilson. Uh, and his work rate, he's worked really hard. He's had an outstanding start to the season. Uh, and it was good to see him finish that. Yeah, yeah often those goal, uh, inside players don't get the credit that they deserve. We we love seeing what's happening uh, in the finishing around it. Uh, but Erlens is a very critical player to the Eagles. He's uh, got that great strong body and uh, we saw him playing uh, against Nycliffe a couple of weeks ago. It's probably best on field. Um, so doing a lot of that dirty work today as, as well. And But probably more importantly was just the timing of that goal. Bombers have definitely been on uh, on top. This thing is uh, Ross Tungatalam in true Ross Tungatalam form streaks out. Uh, didn't quite, I think there was a hand on the ball that kind of interrupted that one. The Bombers now trying to uh, make something out of this, but it looks like Wanderers will 
be able to clean this one up. But, uh, yeah, that was a very timely goal for the Wanderers there. So Thompson now on the outer side, brings the ball inside, smart kick inside to Arthur. He had numerous options there, Bates or Arthur, and a lot of that often Arthur wins it. So little hit up here from Braden McLean, turns and faces the game, turns on quickly to advantage of Chapel, who comes out hard of the ball, lean right up his tail, tambling an opportunity to have a shot on goal. He just probably does. had a bit more time. Yeah, they've had plenty of opportunity here. Wanderers probably should be a couple of goals back up in front. Uh, but a little bit wasteful here in front of goal. So yeah, he probably just had a little bit more time there, Hodgie. Yeah, and, just uh, uh, the, the lack of experience probably exposed his lack of composure. So the Tiwi Bombers huddle at half back and spread now, waiting for Lean to kick the ball in. Kicks long to advantage. Oh! Dion not. Mankara has they've paid, paid that mark. It. Great mark. Had enough of it. So great jump at the footy, great mark, and now. He needs to get Tiwi Bombers up the other end of the ground pretty quickly. He's got P.O. Pujimi short, but goes longer Lovely to kick. Gary Pudden-Tadamiri, who takes a good mark on centre wing. Not too much on offer up forward for him. Not much movement. Now there Bro is. Jack Mankara has worked hard forward. Very smart kick from Pudden-Tadamiri to put Mankara into space there on half forward. So there's plenty of Wanderers numbers behind the ball. Great smart kick again kick. to Albert Sipimwadi, who now will go back and get another opportunity to have a shot on goal. Already kicked one this quarter, Pete. Can he kick his second? Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a bit of a test. Uh, for some reason, it's always harder from the, uh, the left pocket going towards the Michael Long centre, where it seems to drift across to the right. So we'll see if he has the skill. So Tip and Woody on the approach. And it's not that far. It doesn't drift that much, Pete. <laughs> Now, that didn't drift at all. Having said that, guys, <laughs> the, the wind was going to the right of screen. It has now changed to go straight across the ground to the far scoreboard side. So Motlop brings the ball back in outside 50. Adams goes to take the mark. And, sorry, Ma now picks the ball up. Handball forward, tambling with a little bit of time, but great pressure yeah. for the Bombers. The Muck Mucks are streaming forward here, but just can't get a clean disposal or a clean pickup. Tambling does take a clean, but fumbles. Uh, Matt, Matthew Motlock now, oh, probably unlucky to get a free kick. Paddy Heenan, great pressure. Jack Mankara, clever little click in, kick inside and finds his man in Tip and Tantamiri, Jerome, that is. Now goes inside 50. Just poor ball usage there. Didn't get the lead that he was hoping for, but uh, Wanderers, yeah, now have plenty of time and space. Although a poor use there, and one, uh, the Bombers will have a chance to get straight back inside 50, going to the contest here. Again, looks like Erlinson there. Oh, great work from Karanu there. Great pressure. Mankara to Tungatalam. Very clean transition there, but all set up by Cyril Karanu on that far side. Plenty of numbers there for Wanderers. Uh, a little bit earlier, Farmer takes the mark. There was four Wanderers players out there on their own. Farmer mm. was there four on one. Good intercept mark. And now the Tiwi Bombers get another opportunity. They need to capitalise on all these opportunities, Peter. Yeah, well, we saw Rocco kick one from this almost this exact spot about five or ten minutes ago. So it'll be interesting to see if he can put this one through. He has. And he isn't he happy about it. He claps the hands and says, boys, let's do this, because uh, that's a very influential goal for this uh, the stage of this match. Exciting game of footy, Peter. Oh, terrific footy. And that's his second goal this quarter and third for the match, uh, Tungatalam. He's having a real uh, impact uh, on events now. They just seem to have uh, tidied up their game. Their, their, their skills have been terrific this quarter. Uh, and uh, great credit to him. Especially in the middle of the ground here. Obviously, Wanderers, a lot of dominance in this ruck. Paddy Heenan probably hasn't got too much credit for the work he's done in there this quarter. He has chopped off most of the ball in the middle here for the Tiwi Bombers. Certainly so stopping the Wanderers getting that clean run out of the ruck. So yeah. Adams again. There he is again. Yeah. Unfortunately, can't Chappell. keep his feet. Smart inside 50. Long kick. Chapel sets himself oh, and read it takes a good mark. Just had a little bit of separation there on his opponent in lean and uh, was able to take the mark. So uh, this a very, very important shot on goal for Wanderers. Late in the third quarter, this would give them a little bit of break going into th the third quarter. Yeah, we just, you know, we were talking about Paddy Heaney. He got a bit unlucky. He sort of just tripped over, and that led to Wanderers getting out quite easily in good hands by Chapel as he meanders in, as he does. Uh, but uh, it's certainly uh, Wanderers with the goal on three-quarter time. 
Great work there by the Mark Marks, 12-12-84 to the Tewi Bombers, 12-4-76. surprises but you don't want a headache to be one of them get Panadol rapid from chemist warehouse it's absorbed two times faster than regular Panadol tablets so you won't miss life's huh, special moments Panadol rapid when pain is gone life takes its place available at chemist warehouse for the lowest prices guaranteed she's flying down to Alice today don't forget to put away the garden furniture yep got it and just remember the TIO weather alerts. <laughs> Garden furniture! Love you too. She's off, but he's still got TIO. They cover you for territory weather. Cyclones, storm surge, flood, hail, and they're local, so they can respond fast. TIO? Storm stain, kids! Yeah! Intersport, new concept store, now open in Casuarina Square. Come in and check out a world-class shopping experience. Dedicated sports zones, men's performance, lifestyle, basketball. All new women's zone, from running to yoga. And Intersport Kids Zone, all ages, performance footwear and apparel. Plus the new dedicated football zone, all year for all codes. For awesome service and advice, come in and see us. The all new Intersport concept store, Casuarina Square. Here for the fourth quarter on Southern Cross Television, and you can see Brenton Toy there taking the boys through his paces. You've got to love the way Brenton Toy coaches, and you can see uh, how much the Tewe boys are, are listening in. Uh, such uh, the game's in such a, a crucial point right now. So those uh, those last minute messages from Brenton Toy going to be even more important, Hodgie. Yeah, look, I think his messages will be pretty positive. I think he'd be pretty happy, Peter, with the way um, they went that third quarter. They fixed some things up and really got themselves back in the game, and they've given themselves an opportunity to potentially win the game, Peter. I think so. Uh, uh, whether they win it or not, he really got them uh, balanced. Uh, he obviously made a few moves, but the, the players' attitude changed. And they were much more disciplined. They were much more. Uh, they communicated much more than what they did in that second quarter when things started to go wrong. So great credit to him to bring them back on uh, on track. But uh, now Wanderers have had the chance to, to get things together again, and uh, they're going to be a big challenge early. So. Uh, we need to score the first couple of goals. Yeah, you could certainly see in that Wanderers huddle there, certainly no panic uh, from Omot Lop's men. Uh, they've been in this situation many times and do have uh, the slight lead at the moment. Hodgie, 
key to the fourth quarter and who's going to take it from here? I think these uh, these centre square bounces, I think that quarter Tiwi were able to take away that dominance Wanderers had and, and it was just purely just through accountability uh, and playing one-on-one -on -one footy which uh, we talked about. So I think that's going to be the key. Both sides are playing some really exciting brand of footy, quick ball movement, uh, getting it inside 50, so as quick as they possibly can. So as you can see here, uh, the Tiwi Bombers have, have got a pretty handy lineup in the middle to start this quarter with Tunga Talam Heenan and Jack Mankara, uh, and as well as have Wanderers with Wilson, Bates, Smart and Erlinson. So this should be a very exciting last quarter, and anyone could win it at this stage. Oh, I think so. Tiwi have to neutralise the centre square contests. Be a chance. Going to be very interesting, as we've mentioned a couple of times as we get ready for the ball up. Going to be very interesting to see how the legs go as uh, this fourth quarter rolls on very hot down there at the moment. So Wilson's and Daniels again. Wilson gets the tap and that man, Paddy Heenan, again chops it off. Dion Mankara in hot pursuit. Turns nice and quick. Puts the ball to advantage. Oh, well Here done. Oh, that could go through. It's just going <laughs> to mopped up there. That would have been a miraculous start for the Bombers, but uh, very positive play early on. Tambling in the right spot there just to walk that over the line. Now, Jonas Nicky, now long kick to the far side. Good option in Wilson, who just taps the ball down to Erlinson. Now to Bates. Wanderers need to get the ball going their way. Wilson to again, handball he it. wants to handle. He goes back 30 metres to Thompson, who fumbles. Tip and Woody puts the pressure on, misses the tackle. Thompson can now come away, kicks the ball long to centre wing. Daniels in the perfect Jeez, spot. That easy. Yeah, outstanding pressure there from Tiwi Bombers, putting plenty of pressure on the ball carrier. Dangerous kick inside. Marcus Tottenham, BV, oh, good fend great fend-off and pick-up. Goes inside 50. Chapel now with an opportunity. Oh, that's going to go out on the full, and it does. <laughs> Wanderers with a chance to get inside 50 here. You could see exactly what Josh Lean was trying to do. He just got too much of it on the right boot. Execution not quite there. So Chapel now. Interesting to see what his approach is on this kick here. We've seen his set shot for goal. A little bit more urgency. Kick inside 50. Great kick off the chest of Smart. Chapel on the spot again. Just bangs it high yeah, smart. to the top of the square. Not much competing there from the Tiwi Bombers. Very lucky. Put in Tatamiri, a little bit of a shake and bake, and away he goes. How to good Roy has he Farmer. been today? Put in Tatamiri at the Out back there, just so composed. Outstanding, and you can see Randy Mungatopi near spread really hard to provide an option. Tunga Talam inside, so nice and composed across half back here, the Tiwi Bombers. So centre wing here now, got the De run, and Dion Mankara is away. So he has got plenty of space to work in again to advantage of Adam Tip and Woody. Great kick, Keenan Thompson, hot in pursuit. Plenty of pressure on Tip and Woody just keeps the ball to advantage. <laughs> oh, nicely worked there um, by Thompson, just staying with him and uh, slowing it right down enough till he got some troops back there with him. Still in the danger zone for the Wanderers, but they managed to get out here. So, not a great kick, and I need to apologise to actually Kevin Thompson. I keep referring to him as Keenan, his brother. So it's Kevin Thompson uh, who's played an outstanding game and, and amazing pressure there on Tip and Woody. Uh, earlier on. So the Tiwi Bombers now an opportunity go backwards to Ross Tungatullam on the half forward flank for the Tiwi Bombers. Plenty of Wanderers players inside 50. Big Wilson just standing right in front of Austin Wanamiri and Albert Tip and Woody and the kick goes astray and Bates chops it off across half back for the Wanderers. Sam Arthur mark inside the centre square. Plenty of options on here now for him with Neil VV. Time to turn and play on but he decides to slow it down as the Tiwi Bombers at the other end of the ground have got plenty of numbers behind play. Short kick in, Sam Arthur again has worked quite hard to get on the end of that and both sides looking to slow play down a little bit here. Arthur goes quick now inside 50. Chapel on a good lead, well cut off there by Puntanamiri. Can't quite Yeah, just ball. messy ball down there. A chance for Wanderers to uh, make the most of it. Gets out Put on to the right foot. Is that a goal? Yes, it is. Lovely work there by Wanderers. One seemingly out of nowhere. That's a great work. Bronson Plummer and a very clever little handball from Simon Bates who put him into space. Peter. Uh, yeah, of a handy goal now to, uh, then to Wanderers. Uh, there's just a little bit of uh, lack of cohesion amongst the uh, Tiwi defenders then gave the opportunity. 
clever conversion. So you can see that handy uh, handball that you were mentioning there, Hodgie, just slipped it out and uh, yeah, nice work um, there for, to get the goal and I guess a, a crucial one considering the current state of the game. So a critical contest here in the centre of the ground with Wilson and Daniels. Tiwi Bombers desperately needing a goal to stay in this one. Wilson again, dominance in the middle there to Erlinson. Quick kick forward, VV protected the space fantastically and took a great mark. Uh, smothered by Ross Duncan Tullum. It was Play a crucial on. smother as well because they had two uh, free players down uh, directly where that ball was heading. Tiwi with the chance to uh, turn this one right towards the opposite end of the ground. They do inside 50. Great going to be contest here. Nicely done by Motlop, although he's gone in the back and Aussie Wanamiri is going to get one 30 out straight in front and uh, look to close that gap. Almost a similar free uh same as for years uh, went wanderers way in the third quarter so aussie was a aussie want to marry now with an opportunity to have another shot on goal just mm, hands are on the head doesn't like it they've got to take those opportunities mm. every time they get a shot on goal Pete, yeah. very important oh very that's uh, left wanderers right off the hook now if they can go down the other end and uh, convert then that's going to be a very painful miss so long kick brenton motlock oh, bremacombe fly. flies from the back on daniels quick kick for oh, on the spot gary oh, and again. you've got to make the most of those he had far more time than that it was a lovely little soccer off the ground that's gone uh, straight to gary poor and tatamiri but he just really need to compose himself and take some time there wasn't anyone near him so brenton motlock again this time a different approach goes short nook mantle just inside uh, probably 30 metres out from the Tiwi goals. Goes sideways, trying the more composed approach here now through Tambling. Not much on down the ground. A little bit of movement here from Brimacombe now, who will set himself and fly. Daniel's right there with him. Great pick up from the Tiwi's, Tiwi player. Adam Tip and Woody on the spot. Needed to kick that ball inside 50. Doesn't, and the ball may go out of bounds, and it does here on the half forward flank for the Tiwi Bombers. So, very interesting start, big build up to the start of this quarter, but haven't really delivered just yet, hasn't got to any great heights. Also gonna be very interesting, I think the, the next goal is crucial. Uh, currently, what are we, 11 points at the moment, so under two goals. If uh, the Bombers can get the next one, it's gonna be uh, right back in the contest, although Wanderers through Ma get away here. If Wanderers can get this next goal, it's gonna be hard to sort of uh, come back from a nearly three goal deficit, but we, it's, this is the Tiwi Bombers and you never write them off. Virgil Puddentatamiri has an outstanding game, so again involved in that clearance, but it only goes as far as Simon Bates for Wanderers. Short inside, Braden McLean, a very good user of the football. Yeah, Can he find a target? He's got that one, shanked oh, it right off the right boot, but plenty of space out there. It's going to be a race between Puddentatamiri. He gets there and smart handball. He has been sensational today. And a chance here for the Tiwi Bombers to uh, get out through Dion Mankara, who's also been fantastic today. So long king down the line, Brimacombe, really, really well read there, got in front of Tunga Talam, has taken in the set mark. So Wanderers now looking to go back inside. So Justin Ma takes the the mark basically on centre wing here. Now he goes to centre forward. Erlinson has found himself a little bit of space. Short kick inside. Oh, nicely done there, Josh Lean. Just read it better and came from behind his man to get in front. That was uh, fantastic work. They're the defensive plays that um, are really going to make a difference uh, in this game, especially for Tiwi down back. Although Wanderers have a chance to uh, take this one. Totham chucks it on the right boot. That goes in, and that is a huge goal for the Wanderers footy club. Uh, seemingly out of nowhere, Josh Lean had done a great job thwarting that play. Then it just spilled out over to the side and uh, great work by uh, young Totham there to put that one through the middle. Again Peter, just their efficiency going outside 50 hasn't been great at times and Wanderers Don't know why on this you go across the field there, you can see on that replay, dangerous kick. Wanderers able to make them pay. That's correct. Uh, the two opportunities should have been converted down the airport end uh, to the right of screen and uh, down the other end. It's great effort by the young fella. It was after such a smart play by Josh Lean to, to go back across field to the to um, the smaller outmatched teammate it was definitely a risky move. He's got such a big boot on him. You feel like it might have been a better play just booting it down long. But as Wanderers get out of uh, the centre square here and look to uh, capitalise again. 
So Braden McLean in hot pursuit of this ball here. Can he pick it up? He, he, quite, he can't, and the ball just goes out of bound. Seen over by Babu. So great work of the Tiwi defender to get that ball out of bounds and get another stoppage uh, on the half forward flank for the Muck Muck. So we're just looking to see who's going to compete for this. It's Jaden Adams and Freddie Puttantanamiri. So the ball comes back into play. Wooden Mary gets a hand on it. Bates at the front of the contest. Getting a lot of ball at the moment. Bates in game number 100. Inside 50. Fumble. Plummer. Can he make him play? No, he can't. And puts it out of play. So disappointing build up there. Or a little, uh, not a bad build up, but just a disappointing result uh, for the Muck Mucks. They really needed to finish that. That almost could have made it very, very difficult yeah. for the Tiwi Bombers. We know how quick they can score. So uh, they'll be looking to clear this ball from this contest as the umpire sets himself to bring it back into play as he does now. Adams again uncontested. And a free kick has been paid for Shepherding. I think it's going the way of the, the Tiwi Bombers. So Tiwi Bombers will be looking to try and get this back inside 50 and make the most of their opportunities. Umpire calls play on. Putin Mary goes wide to Dion Mankara, the old fake mark. It goes over the head. Mm. Turn Mar inside out. Mankara now. Puts the ball to space to Tip and Tandemiri, yeah. who cannot take possession of the ball. Well done there by Bo Cabello, I think that was. Yeah. And he's now found Ma on the transition. Inside Erlinson, centre wing. Plenty of numbers lining up here for the Muck Mucks. Great work, Pura and Tandemiri. And the spin, that is just beautiful play. Handballed off the left to Keenan. He has just been sensational this quarter at the moment. They certainly need him, the Tiwi Bombers, as they get away here. Uh, just a, a crucial play there from Purin Tatamiri, but it's just a, a couple of little execution things at the moment that the Bombers, it's letting them down. So, Cabillo kicked down the line to Neil Vivi, who competes hard. Cleed with his hands, picks up, kicks inside 50. Plenty of options here. Yeah, in well, it was a too easy, wasn't it? Takes a nice, easy mark. Uh, about 30 metres out right in front. So, generally a very good kick of the football, and he gets an opportunity to to really nail this home for the for the Wanderers and give them a really good opportunity to make it hard for the for the Bombers. It'd be very difficult for them to come back from here, I think. Well, and the option of being able to throw McLean up for he's spent uh, most of the game. He gets across half-back but, uh, with his finishing skills and this, I think, is his first game this season. Uh, no, he's second, he's second for the season, yeah. so shot on goal from McLean and it. it finishes. So Yeah, great goal there for Wanderers, great goal there. For Braden McLean and that score line just creeping out over three goals now and you know we've mentioned it a couple of times you know a couple of missed opportunities there from the Bombers. Aussie Wanamiri had one pretty much the exact same uh, position at the other end and missed. Wanderers making the most of their opportunities at the moment and really that's been the difference in this fourth quarter as we approach 12 minutes gone. Hodgie we've mentioned a little bit about the the fitness levels of these teams, the fact that Tiwi Bombers have played this two o'clock time slot a few more times, but they're probably also slightly uh, less fit than the Wanderers. Who do you think is going to have the advantage as we approach the final 15 minutes? Oh, look, I think Tiwi, obviously Wanderers are finishing this game out fairly strongly, but through some mistakes from, from Tiwi, as we see Wanderers again off half-back, Fijo now kicks the ball long down the line. Erlinson in a one-on-one -on -one contest down there with Babu. Good contest. Jared Erlinson too strong. Yeah. Stands up in the tackle to advantage of Mansell, who has put plenty of pressure on. I think that's Tunga Talam, who now has won the ball. Hasn't got much to go to, just bangs away. And Wilson, who's had an outstanding game, intercept marks on centre wing. Uses it short. Vijo's found himself with a little bit of space. Uh, and again inside to McLean. So we've seen a little bit of accountability go out the door here by the Tiwi Bombers. Plenty of options here for Wanderers. And yeah, fumble. probably a little bit of get out of jail free card there for the Bombers. Uh, they sort of weren't getting many players back and there was plenty of free players there for the Muck Mucks, but just uh, a bit of poor ball usage uh, managed to get it over the, the boundary for a throw in. Umpire sets himself back into play. Wilson uncontested again in the ruck to probably his opponent, Freddie Puntanamiri, clears the ball away. Good ball used inside to, to Karanua, basically through the middle of the ground. So hasn't got too much mo movement forward of him, so he's looking for a clear option. Now he finds that Wanamiri's hit up Nicely a long done. way from goal through the middle of the square, plays on quickly, turns Ma inside out, clever kick inside. Tip Play and Woody, on. smart use of the body, but 
the ball goes out of play. He's well covered there. Uh, Brenton Motlop and also Cabillo covering that. So they see that out of play and we will get a boundary throw in in Tiwi Bombers forward line. They will need to score from this Peter. Oh, I think so. When you say you know, clever use of the body, you mean his hands <laughs> in that <laughs> contest. But uh, yeah, Wanderers, uh, Wanderers will be really encouraged by the fact they've had 10 goal kickers. It's a good result for them at this stage of the season. So Wanderers clear it through Cabillo. Hasn't got much oh, to go again. to. Virgil putting Tana Mary on the far side. Now pressure on from Nook Mansell. Ball goes out of play and we'll see another boundary throw in on centre, the true centre wing on the far side right in front of the scoreboard which is working at the moment. You can just see a couple of those tired mistakes uh, coming in from both sides in particularly the Bombers at the moment. Just those uh, simple skill um, skills that you'd probably pull off in the first quarter but as those tired legs and arms start coming through uh, a couple of silly errors from uh, the Bombers are uh, making them pay at the moment. Brimacombe, another intercept mark on clearing the ball. Poor kick out of bounds on the forehead. Plenty of options out there, just couldn't quite execute it. So we'll now see Putin Tatamiri, that's Gary Putin Tatamiri on the far side will bring the ball back into play. Not too much movement forward of him. He might have to go long down the line here, which he does. Dion Mankara sets himself, almost takes an outstanding mark, but can't quite bring it down. Well done to Matty Motlop, who's cleared it with through Arthur and McLean. Nice Smart ball used to Nook Mansell, who, again, we're on centre wing. It seems like we've been out in that centre wing for about five minutes. Boys, inside now to Justin Maher, inside the square. Plenty of options here for the muck marks. Neil VV again goes out wide. Sam Arthur on that far Plenty side. He's got of time and space. paddock in front of him. He can move almost inside 50. Ops to kick. Jared Erlinson almost off his chest. Farmer didn't quite read that very well. Ball out of play in the Wanderers forward pocket. I certainly like being down this end of the field, down the Michael Long Learning and Leadership Centre end of the field because it just keeps that pressure on the Tewi Bombers a lot harder for them to uh, get up at the other end and, and uh, make a dent into this deficit that they're currently in. Uh, gets chucked on to the left boot. It's a fierce contest there in the goal square. Tewi managed to get out of trouble as it goes to space. So smart underneath the ball. Can't, couldn't quite trap it. Jack Mankara. Oh, now. big Plenty hit. Plummer, great closing speed. Mankara thought he had all the time in the world. Ma plays on and kicks the goal. Is the umpire allowed I don't advantage? No, he hasn't. It's got to come back. Has, no. I think that was a good indication of the tiredness of some of these uh, guys, especially the younger ones. Even as he's standing the mark, he's trying to stretch the, uh, the legs. And I think there's some worrying signs now. The Tiwi boys are... Sort of hoping that the ball gets uh, you know, kicked to them rather than mm. presenting themselves. So uh, yeah, the next uh, few minutes are absolutely critical for team. Still not out of reach. Bronson Plummer inside 50 to Chapel. Well punched away by Lean Mankara. Oh, tunnel it ball, love it. And Kerenua is away on this far side. Chased by Tamblin. Great chase. <laughs> Billow's come forward. He needed to get the ball. Ran. No, it's a throw. We might have ran too far, but Tamling, no, doesn't mess around. Gets the ball moving quickly. Ma on the far side. Has VV hit up through the middle. Good mark. Good build up here by the Wanderers Football Club. Neil VV long inside the pocket. A little bit wide, but finds his man in Jared Erlinson. Yeah, nicely judged there by Erlinson, uh, who's spending a bit more time up forward in this quarter. Uh, read that one beautifully and uh, had the size over his opponent, uh, even though, with he, though he had the back position. So smart to McLean. Trying a few little party tricks there, but doesn't quite come off. And again, you can see, you mentioned the, the tiredness of the Bombers. You know, they get out of trouble and then it's just to have another crack to the to the Wanderers footy club through Ma. Um, and Erlinson on this far side. So he gets inside 50, going for McLean. Can't quite take the mark. Little back paddle there from Smart to Bates. Had a shot on goal, but <laughs> couldn't quite get boot to ball. Tiwi now just need to take clean possession and take a mark outside 50 here to clear the ball. Plenty of Wanderers players around the ball. I'm And a little bit wasteful, but it is no good for the Tiwi Bombers, the ball being down this end of the ground. They need to be clean and clear this ball. Yeah, you're exactly right, Hodgie. I mean, like, if anyone can score from this end of the field, it's the Tiwi Bombers, but when you're looking at a couple of goals deficit, 
you know, you you really need to get the ball down the right end of the field and, and keep it down there exactly like Wanderers are doing right now. So um, unless something changes in the tide uh, at the moment, uh, the, the Bombers are, are certainly got uh, their work cut out for them at the moment as Erlinson again uh, contesting the ball down there and was calling for a free. Doesn't get it. VV puts it on the right inside out. As it goes through for a minor score, but at the moment they just, uh, the Bombers just can't get out of their own end and it's uh, proving very worrisome. Lean's going to give this one a massive roost and does. Probably should have done that a bit earlier, but it looks like the Bombers might be able to get a run away, although Bates shows great leg speed in his game. 100 and again, Wanderers looking to get back down inside that inside 50. They just don't have targets uh, in that uh, area between the uh, top of the 50 and the mm. centre line and uh, great credit to Wanderers. Their defensive setup now is as good as you want. Yeah, exactly right. And you can just, as I said, like let the Terry Bombers certainly not finding as much open space. Uh, a few tired legs there, as we saw uh, three or four players come off for interchange. Uh, Wanderers certainly dominating uh, these contested possessions as well at the moment. So Tottenham on the bottom of this pack here can't quite clear the ball. Jack Mankara, little handball over the top. Plenty of bodies around this football here. Neither side can clear it. Bo Cabello somehow finds a way out of there. Quick kick forward. And oh, he's been pinged again. Lean is not happy about it. Those hands in the back in that uh, uh, contest with Chapel. They've been going a hammer and tong at it uh, all afternoon, these two boys. And at the moment, uh, despite having a game, great game, Josh Lean, uh, Chapel certainly uh, getting the edge over him there as he uh, slowly approaches the goal. Again, if, you, if you're in front and you get the benefit of the doubt, I think. I'm not sure that it was his hands or his... It's another goal there for Wanderers. It's uh, looking very good for them at the moment. And you can see the likes of uh, Neil VV and uh, Simon Bates running in to congratulate him because I think they know that's, um, that's a very important goal. And it's also uh, Chapel's fifth for the game. So well done to the big fella who's been uh, had a huge impact on this game. Yeah, he just quite missed that. But I, made, I think he made sure the umpire did see it. So Lean, who has been... Had a pretty good day, uh, unfortunately, not giving the, uh, not going his way there. So we find ourselves back in the middle of the ground, 21 and a half minutes gone. Jaden Adams against Daniels again in the middle. Fijo can't quite kick the ball up. Mansell and Tip and Woody in dispute, uh, in the pursuit of the oh. ball, finds its way out of there. Brimacone's been outstanding across half back for the Wanderers this quarter. Wanamiri, Erlinson. Oh, hey, uh, look just out. hacked it out of the air and somehow... <laughs> what a kick. Meant that. Absolutely. And my man, Jack Mankara, will have a shot on goal from about 40 metres. He's had a great day today and been one of probably Tiwi Bombers' best. So, fairly long approach here. Bit of a hip and a, bit of a skip and a hop. Has a shot on goal. Looks pretty good. So Wanderers will look to bring this back in through Brenton and Mottblake. They do on the far side to Jonas Nicky, who has got Fijo down the ground, who's got plenty of space. The ball could bounce. He could sit down and have a cup of tea. He's got that much space on the far side. Mansell has spread extremely hard as well. Just couldn't quite get it to him. Great spread from Nook Mansell, who was inside that defensive 50. He worked really hard to try and get on the end of that, and Fijo couldn't quite hit him on that far side. So again... We get a boundary throw on, on centre wing. Wilson, who has been outstanding all day, up against Daniels. And again, Wilson gets the tap to Neil VV. Quick kick forward. Plenty of numbers back here for the Tiwi Bombers. Bring the ball to ground. Virgil Puntadamiri to Jason Puntadamiri. Long kick outside and it's out of bounds on the fall. Braden McLean will bring it back into play on the far side, which he now dumps the ball back towards... Jared Erlinson inside, dangerous kick. Mansell can't quite take the mark. Great pressure from Tunga Tullum. A little bit of candy. Inside 50, Paddy Heenan, Mark Siren. Can he kick it, Peter? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, but it's a very, very important and impressive win to Wanderers. Well done to the Eagles. 
Yeah, yeah, as we uh, hit full time, this one's uh, just for the scorers and for the Tiwi Bombers fans uh, at home and across the country as Paddy Heenan approaches. Chucks it on the right boot and doesn't look overly happy with it. So Wanderers 16-13, 109, Tiwi Bombers 12-9, 81.